there's something on Twitter that someone's been going back and forth with me about. I don't know how to respond properly. <laughs> I, I don't have a clue what they're talking about. I don't have a clue what they're talking about. What would you be? What is it? Um, someone said something. I don't know, mate. I don't know. I so don't know. Not, if you don't want to talk about it, why did you bring it up, Uncle? No, because I need your help on how yeah, to talk about it. He doesn't know how to I respond, can't. as in he doesn't know how to do it. Do you know the? Oh, you just you just can't no, respond. No, because I see like my name being tagged in these things, and I'm thinking uh, what? he's a know. proper. I uncle. thought like I need your advice. Like I what? Told you. Yeah, how can I respond he to takes this? Like, pictures with not? iPads <laughs> and holds the phone away from his face when he uses it. I use both hands to use the telephone. That is Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf ain't got an iPad. Oh yeah, let us take snapshots. Let me t- let me bring the iPad out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's better. Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects, welcome to the Eloquently Say Nothing podcast. This is episode number 43. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Stavros Boss. Who else do we have in the room? We've got Big Wahala in the room. What's good, people? Things we sing about is things that I've seen. I've seen something, 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 and something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this man just never the whole thing. <laughs> I've seen what crack cocaine can, can do. It can turn you into a, a fool. Thing. You see what I mean? So now that Webs ain't here. Come with bless singing. me clean. You don't know the song we're singing? Trust me. But I want no bling bling. Mm-hmm. But I want, I want no pinky ring. ring. Just, just give me, me the microphone. And I will start to sing with me. And though I stand alone, song. If any, I would always if, if bring. If it starts off, me, me no, me no want. I, then I'm mean, gonna want to listen to the song. You don't know the song we're talking about. I don't think. Come so. on, bro. Of course you know the song we're talking about. Who's, who's I it know the it's tune. It's by Sticky and um, what's Tab, his name? Tab, 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 I know the tune, but I just any of them. Ready, she ready, come from in the regular. We can be talking about Tab T, but it's dead now, isn't it? Yeah, you got to be T. You got to know about Tab T, man. And who's the one that died recently as well? Um, oh, Major Ace, man. Major Ace. R. I. P. Major Ace. R. I. P. T. Man, still. Trust me. Simple Sam is in the building. Everyone wants to be a top shot. Top. What do you mean, man? <laughs> that, was my, that was my bars boy back in the day same bars over and over okay and last and least we have yeah we got Mr. Wolf in the building and believe it or not <laughs> what is it my turn <laughs> yeah yes. but did you hear man say last and, and least? least Jesus don't mind he, him he doesn't listen to nothing <laughs> don't, don't mind him you know what you do look a bit like Tyrese you know well I'm looking at you again I've told you like brother it. um yeah there's a Europe up, uh, proverb you have a proverb, ladies and gentlemen. And this week's proverb says, A royal heir who is unconscionably places himself at risk hunting snakes may find his position taken by another. You read that like you're from a different astral plane. Yeah, you read it wrong. A royal and I, and I don't heir, even know what that word means, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm that's co- what I was looking at. It, it can't be un- unconscionably. Whatever a that royal word heir who unconscionably yeah. places himself at risk hunting so, snakes so may re- find him his position taken by another. Basically, avoid needs, needless, needless risks. But the word unconscionably. No, it's a word, but you put it in the wrong context when you used it. I did or they did. No, you read it wrong. No, he, <laughs> he didn't put it in the wrong context. He put the wrong word in front of it. He put yeah. and. Yeah. Put and instead of who. Mm. Like I can't read. Yeah. It's all good. It's, yeah, it's all right. Mistakes are made. We love you. Let's go on, man. Let's, let's, let's go on, man. Everyone good? Everyone good? I've been feeling a bit weird this week, man. I'm unconscionably good. Listen, you're feeling weird, he said. This week I've been feeling weird, man. Mm-hmm. I've, I don't know. It's like I'm either I went. You're looking weird too. Nice. Nah, like what do you mean? I got a fresh trim, man. What are you talking about? Um, this is what you look like with a fresh trim. This is my fresh trim. Oh. I got him just done today. <laughs> my God. <laughs> That's what I look like after two weeks, fam. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's what I look like today. Oh, dear. Seriously, oh. is this your fresh trim? I just got it trimmed about eight o'clock today. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord. You can't to go on right here. Did a Nigerian or Ghanaian? Oh, Nigerian. Lord. Mm. You trimmed my hair right, man. You always trimmed my hair anyway. Okay. Well, 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 so what? Hang on. Are we, bringing, are, we, are, are we bringing man's barber into question here? Is that what's going on? No. No, man. Just carry on with your, your thing. It's, it's all good, man. <laughs> I, I could have segued there because I want to talk, talk about a barber shop in yeah, a minute. We'll come back to that in a second. You, you can start off after that, after he's talking about whatever he wants. Yeah, to man. I've just been feeling weird. It's like I've been feeling anxious and um and uh, like I'm, I'm waiting for something to happen and I don't know what it is. 
the slap someone's gonna give you. I don't know. It's like I'll be thinking like a beef thing's coming my way, but I don't know what it is. Don't think like that, man. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna negatively, come. and that's why f- negative things happen to you, man. But you they don't. Like, negative things don't usually happen to me. All but right, good luck. Sir. If you see the way that he came in today, where. A little good look on his face. Yeah, Simple was Sam was here. It was me and Simple Simon here. Yeah, he looked like, look like the solar shop just closed. That's what I'm saying. In man. his face. What's yeah. he? While he was trying to make an order. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Yeah. Get out. You can't have food. Oh, no more soya. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take any soya. Let's say a man burnt down, you know? Huh? Let's say a man burnt down in my ends. It burnt down? Yes. That's joking. why your face was like that. See, yeah. I told you. Nah, I told you. Even that, man. I happened a couple weeks ago still. But um, it, was it I, was, I drove past it today. I, I spit, you know, I pulled that little, um, for, uh, little alcohol for the homie. But, so, uh, so what was it? Was it uh, unfortunate circumstances or insurance? I don't insurance? know, bro. It's just burnt down and I was pissed. Because that's oh, one of the reasons man. I moved, I yeah, moved I there. I an insurance job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he had fair people going there, man. Bare Bra- customers. Yeah, I'm from East, bro. The insurance job. You know that, man. He had bare customers. <laughs> I'm just hoping everyone's all right still. 41.9 FM. <laughs> <laughs> Get your suya hair. 419. Damn, I'm just hoping bro. that everyone's all right because I don't know. I ain't seen the man or nothing, so I don't know if he's cool. But yeah, man, that's suya. Yeah, down, blessing man. to the super, uh, suya, man. Hope, hope you're well. Hope you're mm. well. That shot was famous, though. I heard people from South used to come up there. To Seriously? Up. Yeah. I saw a man from Crane and make his way all the way there just to get suya, boy. Ah, I met, one time I went there, one guy said that he went all the way from Emerton to go all the way there. Bro, people go far what? to go to that suya place. What type of suya is it? Beef, chicken, don't make a difference. Yeah, but how is it like on the on, on the road? You tasted the suya, bro. I've tasted it. Yeah. Wait, it was in your house. Yeah. I can't remember. Mm-mm. I don't feel I've had them. I, no, you know, he has, he has, he has, he has. I tell, was there. Tell us about your barber thing. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for those that know, man, my barber shop is like nobody knows. I've he mentioned talks, it before. He talks about I talk about the barber shop all the time. It's like a, it's like a gentleman's club. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, like people go there no who who are not cutting hair. <laughs> people, well, people you know, you, you know bald, you're not going here. <laughs> people who are bored will go there to get shaved and get a lineup of the beard and all kinds of things. So okay. all kinds of people go there. You go there to get shoes, bags, playstations, the lot, everything. <laughs> you go there to watch football games, everything. You'll find everything there. But anyway, so we um opened up like a WhatsApp group not too long ago. I don't know why I'm out of breath, boy. Take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. <laughs> it might be the whole situation has got me all heated up, you know, to wow. be honest. Rough. And I haven't heard this yeah. yet. I'm, I'm Emotional stuff. Come on, then. Yeah, because I was talking to Simple Simon just uh, before the whole thing. Um, oh, that, what kick- we were talking about before? Yes, yeah, yeah, oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, we opened up like a WhatsApp group about a year and a half ago. And last Christmas, uh, we went to have something to eat. Everybody got together and they went to TGI Fridays. Unfortunately, I couldn't go. But anyway, l- enough of them went drinking, laughing and enjoying each other's company. So as this uh, year is coming to an end, people are starting to talk, uh, talk about where to go. And it just so happened on today's um, group, we were talking about food. Obviously, Mr. Wolf, he loves food. Obviously. Obviously. He's talking Good about wolf. Nigerian food, African cuisine, you know, and basically we were talking about all kinds of food. So the question was, where are we going to eat for the Christmas dinner. I think I know where this is going. He's man fully yeah. was going Christmas dinner. Yeah, like we're going in. Here. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're going Christmas dinner, bruv. Because <laughs> you know what gets this one heated? It's children, football, men, Nigeria. Yeah. So I think it's the latter. Okay, let this, me. This is what gets this one like. <laughs> you know me, bruv. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we were discussing food. And this went on for the whole day. I put in a couple of suggestions. One of the Ghanaian brothers in there put a couple of suggestions. Oh, Another people. I'll be dismissed them completely. Nah, nah. We're all for doing anything, innit? We want to go somewhere that everybody wants to go. But obviously... But you you want to live after, innit? Though, innit? I want to live after, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, 805 was mentioned by me, of course. Uh, Gold Coast was mentioned by a next brethren. And a couple of other places were mentioned. So uh, we were talking about different types of food that uh, West Africans eat, the Caribbeans eat, the similarities in the food, you know, how uh, the Caribbeans will eat uh, grounded yam and sweet banana, yeah? Mm-hmm. And we'll have pounded yam, we'll have, uh, we have shaki, they have tripe. There's all kinds of different Come on, ways of putting shaki. foods together. That's what I'm saying, shaki. I can't eat that, but... What? You can't I, eat shaki? I don't like shaki. Shaki is, yeah, is a Nigerian chewing gum, bruv. <laughs> 
Nigerian it comes Nigerian. in one flavour. Sh- Shaki is trap for those that don't know. It is a yeah. Nigerian chew gum. But, but if you can't like explain Shaki to certain men, they may think, oh, what are you doing? But Caribbeans eat Shaki as well. Mm. You understand? You've Hang on, hang, on, hang on, for the people that might not know, which part is the shaki again? Is it intestines or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah something like that. Like the lining inner, or something like that. Inner lining, innit? Inner, inner lining. But it's, but it's it, stomach or it, something. Where? No, yeah. not the stomach, but inner linings. Mm. It's just hard to chew, man. It looks like yeah. a brittle pad. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. It looks like a honeycomb. Kind yes, of thing. yes, 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 yes. yes. So yes. basically, we all know the idea of, well, this prostate cancer thing, in it, mm. is uh, quite high in black people because we use the same kind of spices, the same kind of things ingredients and what have you so anyway in the group now two dudes now one of the brothers said categorically that if it's an african restaurant that he's not gone that he's out so i was like "Hmm?" and i was actually i just got in the car so i couldn't participate in a conversation this this is the man with a you know the map of africa tattooed on his arm on his arm man and nigeria outlined as well so i read that and i thought I stopped off for petrol. And then I text. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I need to identify what type of human being you are. When you finished the petrol, did you shake the... the, 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 the white I hand? always give it a little okay, shake. All right. That's how I established between Labour voters and Conservative voters. Yeah, I, gave, <laughs> I, I gave it a little shake. Just like when I'm doing a little thing in the toilet. Was, you know? it, was it Skepta that did that freestyle and he said, he shaked it at the end yeah, during his freestyle? Like, like, yes. A little bit of pizza back yes. on petrol. Yeah. Can you get me? I'll shake the thing, man. <coughs> I'll shake both things when I do a piss as well. So anyway, so I stopped off for petrol. And just before I started the car up again, I sent a text saying, "Is this has this text got a fishing line, a hook and bait at the end? Basically, is it banter? And the guy come back and said, nah, that he's serious. If it's an African restaurant, I'm not going. And I was, I was shocked, bruv. I was shocked. Where's he from? He's from Jamaica. Oh. You get me? What was his reason though? Well, I haven't got that far because this was a conversation here. So to be honest, I was quite speechless and I did ask the question, why do you not want to go to an African restaurant? And the question is, um, can you be pro-black and dismiss foods from other cultures? What is it? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Is he like one of them whole tech guys? Is he... Is he what they classify? I don't, don't, don't want to even put them in the whole thing. Is, it, is, it, is he an activist? Is he like a is he fake? That's the one. Is he a fake pro no, black person? I wouldn't have thought so. You wouldn't the have one that so. you see walking saying pro black this that another. And then when no, you no, he ain't. He ain't white girl, definitely not. Which category you put him in? Roadman, pro black, just just a random like your regular dude. He's like me, regular dude. Very much about my people and about the culture. Oh, but, he's, but, he's, but which people? I'm about. No, every, I'm talking about him. Is he about Jamaica only? No, he's not. So then I don't understand how you can list what, what categorically. What, categorically. He decided he's not eating any food from any other culture at all, or not any other culture. Sorry, does he eat Chinese? Do you know what he in the text he said that he will find it hard to even get up out of his house and um, go to a Caribbean restaurant. You understand? So, yeah, but that's a bit different. Oh, so that's qualifying statements now. No, do you understand well, why I think it's a bit different? Because he's Caribbean and he could probably cook it himself. So he's like, why am I going outside to go and cook that? I can get the, that. There's some of that. That's part of the reason. And, I get that. And someone also said that if somebody said in a group, we're all going to a Caribbean restaurant, none of the African brothers in there would say no. I don't think okay, so. Okay, what's your issue? What's your issue? I've got an issue with my people not wanting to eat my food. You ain't your people, clearly. Yes. Not in his ass. In the end, because he, as he's saying, he's separate. Even though he's not doing it as a human being, he's doing it as in, that's your lot food. I'm yeah. not eating your he, he, he didn't even say, listen, we're in South and I ain't going to them African restaurants, the Nigerian and the Ghanaian restaurants in South. If we go West, I'm not going to them East African, you know, them, um, them, uh, what was it? Ethiopia, them, and Ethiopia, and Ethiopia and Somalia, Somalia restaurants. I ain't going to, he just said, all oh, Africa, this whole continent here is out of bounds. If it, If you do that, I'm out. So what so happens if he goes to Africa? Has he been to Africa? I don't believe he has. Go back to Africa. I you think know? he does have ambitions to go as well. well to do what? He's going to go there with a sandwich. <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, mate. I bought my own sandwich. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. You, you I, got, <laughs> I got my pat lunch. I got water. Sandwich here. <laughs> Cheese. Yeah. Cucumber. <laughs> you got to be careful though because there are some people that romanticise about the back to Africa movement and 
the romance is in the romanticizing. So like it's one of those destinations that you should never ever get to, but you should always be talking about getting there and telling other people that it's about there. That's where we should be going. Well, and really large up to my brethren uh, Q, um, who is from Jamaica, but he's gone to Gambia. Uh, Gambia. Yeah. Jamaicans go to Gambia, and he's bought land. He's bought two pieces of land. Jamaicans go to Gambia and Ghana. Those are two places and Ghana, that, Jama- yeah, that Jamaicans yeah. will I've, go to. I've, I've seen him in Ghana. And he's um, and he's. How, why are they bastards? What <laughs> because of that issue I had in the in the in the market in it with the, with the Jamaican. I don't know. what you're talking about. What man? issue? I don't I, know I'm places. there in. I can't remember the name of the market in in Ghana. In Kumasi. Uh, Accra. Yeah. Kumasi Market. Uh, uh, yes. Man, bad, bad. Maybe. <laughs> bad, yeah. bad. So I'm there. I'm haggling. So this is me. You know, coming from night. Well, I'm not you know, coming from Nigeria direct, but I've haggled in Nigeria. So I'm thinking, all right, it's going to be the same here. I go to the man. Mrs. said she wants to pay her earrings, you know, Africa earrings. I said, all right, cool. Go to the man. He gives me the price. Obviously, you're in the market. You start haggling. The man's like, nah, you know, such and such. I'm like, come on, man, blah, blah, blah. We're going backwards and forwards up to the point. That this is what the man says. The man that you're haggling with is yeah. from Jamaica. Yeah. Okay, go on. But, well, he's got dreads anyway, so that's... but. <laughs> That's, that's oh my what is wrong God. with you man no he's, he's he's one of them that's been I think he's been there for a while so he's picked up an accent he told me fine don't take it then I'm not I'm not dealing with you you're, you're rude so what yeah but you can be come across rude when We're you haggle yeah but I've seen you haggle the thing is I've yeah. seen you haggle and you've been rude I'll tell, tell you what Mr. Wolf yeah I don't even mean to be bad but I don't respect Stavros as, 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 a, as a Nigerian in that sense like if Why? he I don't think you know how to haggle I don't think you know how to haggle properly. Did I not get good prices when we were in Nigeria? I don't remember. Oh, all, I remember yes, I all I remember is that you're rude. When you're haggling with people, you're rude. When I come, all right. I'm, you, you're like, uh, give me this thing or I'm going, you're rude. So I don't understand that. Where I'm going. Okay, whatever. Well, but, you, like but you are rude. I am, I am. You're rude. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm rude. Because but you never think you're, you're rude. You're cut. I'm, I, I'm, I'm to the point when I'm. When I think I'm haggling. when you're haggling, you gotta be a certain way still. Yeah, You've but got to be charismatic. There's different types of haggling. There's auntie haggling, there's uncle haggling, and then there's rude. <laughs> no, yeah, there's different. You know, you have your who's the only fools and horses one. Del boy, you have a Del boy type haggling. Yeah, yeah. you gotta have charisma and charm. When the, you're doing this, yeah, which, which I would put in the Del boy yeah. camp. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to swoon you into lowering prices, and then you have people that you know a bit more rough and ready with it. And I'll put myself in that category. Yeah, rude. I don't understand why you're even. Anyway, I don't, I don't recently it, today, uh, today especially, I've just been looking at you like I don't understand why you, why you're. <laughs> Because rude. because you don't like me, so everything I do to you is rude. The, okay, because uh, it's always me. Do you do not think that this person could come across rude when he's trying to haggle? We've had this you conversation. You haven't seen. You haven't. They haven't seen me haggle, so I don't. In I, general, then you come across rude. No but way. anyway, we we've we've kind of yeah we've digressed <laughs> we've digressed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just let me say my story and go that's on, it. Go on, I didn't go even go finish on. my story. Before no, finish your story. Finish your story. Finish your story. Sorry. Sorry. In the end, because I, then I switch. Then I switched. Yeah. After like, what are you talking about? So, you know, I threw my little jabs at him. And then um, we walked away and I swallowed my pride and I went back to the man and I said, fine, just give it for me to the price that you said because my missus wants it. She was telling me, don't, don't worry about it, don't go back. I'm like, no, you wanted it. If Maybe That's I went too far. This is, this is your home. I said, clearly these are your people. I've, I've misunderstood. I've misevaluated how I'd need to haggle in Ghana. So I've learned my lesson now. Let me buy this earrings and I've learned my lesson. You see what I'm so, saying? So yeah, if, you can't in label future, that one man. Any Nivea level of, of haggling. Did you tell him how? <laughs> oh, <laughs> when well, yeah, I, you, I, just, I just said, this guy, I, you the haggle, guy's got cussed you haggle for the rest of the... Yeah, but <laughs> the you, that's not how you haggle. Yeah, you can't when, when label you your, everybody with the same paintbrush, yeah. bruv. When you tell you your price, you say, how? Oh. Listen, I'm a racist, man. I'll go there and judge all of you based on the one. Yeah, but you're judging Ghanaians... Based on the Jamaican. Based on the Jamaican, bruv. Yeah, <laughs> you flopped your crowd. <laughs> but, but Jamaicans are just a bunch of Ghanaians and Nigerians anyways. That is kind of true. Yeah, so anyway. anyways, So you have an issue with this person saying that. But what's the issue? The fact that you think that because you should patronize uh, black uh, companies and it shouldn't matter what country you're from because you, uh, you, you see him as a kind of black man that's proud to be black. Or I don't like the fact that he's disrespecting African food and I have an issue with him saying he's not going to... To I think it's African I food. think it's the latter to be honest. And like I was just saying to to Simple Simon before we kicked off here, like in eight oh five you have a monica fish in it. Mm. A monica fish with you could either have it with plantain or with um fried uh, You have to look at his reasoning with, first with fried yam. So before yeah, but, you start, yeah, but, before you yeah, start but, picking out what food yeah, but, is in the restaurant. No no no, but the point being is that the foods are similar, bruv. Yeah, but and, you don't and, know his reasons. You so don't need to no. go 
head first in certain foods. And yes, I will no, no, get no. the reasons. No, that I, is, will. I will. Yeah, I will. I think you that's the most you, important you, part. You cannot say the yeah. point is until you know what the point is. Yeah. And you don't know what the point is. As you go back to you. You know what? Check, I don't check to see if we got back to you, please. All right, let me, <laughs> let me get into well, the let's WhatsApp. Let's well, check to see if we got back to you. Talking about, talking about Jamaicans and stuff like that. When I went to the barbers today, he thought I was Jamaican. I've been going there all this time. What? Yes, exactly. I've been going there all you. this time. Right. Yes, he thought I was Jamaican. Like, you do look like, a bit like Charlie Chaplin. He said, ah, I thought you were Jamaican. I said, what, what do you mean? Big belly I, man. I said, nah. I said, what do you mean? I said, big belly me, man. you and you Big just had discussions man, man. about, about um, Nigeria. I already had discussions about it. You just thought I was Jamaican. Because I was like, I was talking about the holiday and I was like, you know, my dad's going, I don't know if he's going to like uh, the food, blah, 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 blah. Nigerian, you know, he likes Nigerian food. And he was like, what? What, your dad's Nigerian? I said, yes. He goes, what? You mean it? I said, yes. <laughs> I love it when Nigerians are, 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 are surprised. You mean it? So then he asked me, are you no, Nigerian? No, no, they say, you don't mean it. Hold on. Your dad is Nigerian, but are you? Are you Nigerian? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yes. yes, I'm Nigerian. <laughs> Wow, wow. Man said, wow. I'm so like, you're adopted? I've, I've never, I've I never been be called Nigerian, I mean, uh, Jamaican, Jamaican before. Big belly man. I've been called Ghanaian sometimes. Well, no, in fact, I haven't really been called Ghanaian unless it's an insult. But, I'm I'm not, <laughs> it's yeah, but it yeah, goes hand in hand. People are joking it. They're joking yeah, it. No, no, no. They've said it seriously to me. And it's, yeah, you, you can you get You do it. look like a Ghanaian. You though. can pass for a Ghanaian. You just could be a coffee or a kwesi. It's a nose, really. Yeah. Or nana. Oh. I think it's the skin. Okay. Um, and listen, I'm a yow, by the way. A you? little bit of comeback in it. Large up to them anyway. All them man in a barbershop group. You know, loads of banter, lot of fun. And Come it's on. This is not yeah? no, you, no, no, no. Thing. Okay, so women what? must love you, boy. You take your time to get to the pussy. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Push it. Can you hold on a little bit? Let me freshen. Now, basically, he just doesn't want to try anything new. And, 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 and what kind of. That's what you said. Yeah. And, and, and what kind of gets me a little bit is i won't be in attendance you get me like no but the thing is like it's foreign land yeah (laughs) you you understand and if he that he needs to get his jabs before he goes into the restaurant because he might catch some flies or or, or maybe ebola ebola oh 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 oh, oh, oh. yeah but he he said he doesn't want to try nothing new he's not even talking about anything specifically yeah yeah, yeah, man it don't bother me at all no but no but my thing is is, is, chinese that's what i want to know of course he's chinese then that's something new then but but yeah yeah, no no it was new when he was no listen listen listen. he might have allergies he may but my thing is if we're going if the man them are getting together to go to a restaurant and you have done this simple simon yeah you've gone to certain places where they haven't had fish yeah you understand yeah you come because you're gonna be with the man them You understand? So you come, you congregate, you have a few drinks and you just enjoy each other's company. Yeah. The idea of, the reason why we're getting together is because of Christmas. It's not so much that we have to go and eat. So my thing is, is that if we're going somewhere, I just want to be with the brothers. Bro. That's what I want to yeah, go. Clear, clearly, I, I, that, I can't talk. Uh, clearly that, that's your thing. You want to be around the people. And for him, clearly you're not that important. I, I can't talk. Clearly. Because <laughs> I would just not go as well if yeah. I don't want to go. That's me anyway. Well, Hala's one of them black stars. Ain't going. Ain't going. Where you going? You going there? I don't want to go there. I'm not going. Ain't going. Yeah, but I don't have to go. It's not by force. It it would bother me more if it's you than this dude because how many people are you talking about in this barbershop? In the group, I believe it's about 20 or so. But but, but there may be more coming from the barbershop anyway. All right, so 20 odd. I'm talking about when it's like the seven to 10 of us and we're all bona fide people that have known each other 20 years. And he's saying he ain't going because of science. But what's the big deal? So I don't understand why I have to be there. If you're not going, I'll still go. No problem. So what I'm saying, like, are you lot going to get trims while you're at the Christmas dinner thing? <laughs> why, why not? Trims around food, man. It's not the one. Though. Ah, boy, there's a, sat, there's a place in Sat where I swear they've got like a chicken shop and a, and a barber shop next to each other. I had that idea years ago. In that's fact, there's idea. one place in Dalston that's got a butcher's and a, bu- and a uh, hair salon behind the butcher's. That don't make sense. I don't know, but it's there. So what you're saying that it's all good? What's that? Well, my man. Boy, I'm like, it's because we don't know the reasons, isn't it? Like, if he's just saying he doesn't want to try anything new. I think, personally, I, I think there's more to it. I think that that's a copy answer. There could be, but he doesn't want to try anything new. Are you new, saying that this man of Caribbean descent like you said, doesn't want to do anything with the Africans? If he wants to go there, you said he wants to go that's there. What it, that's, that's what it kind of feels do you, like. Does he, does, he, does he sleep with African women? He or does he date he, African women? He, from, what, from my understanding, his woman at the moment is from Jamaica. But in terms of his history, I don't know. Yeah, but he don't want to taste food, boy. Well, what I'm saying though, you said he wants to go to Africa. I'm saying like Africa's like a country. He, he wants to go to Africa though, yeah. Somewhere in Africa. So he's gonna have to eat there at some point, isn't he? I think this is a mute issue, man. I, was, I think it's so insignificant that he doesn't want to go. It's like, so what? then if you don't want to go, if you your reason is you don't want to try something new, 
then that means that the person wants to, doesn't want to try anything new, mm. and I just have to kind of like deal with that and respect. Fair like, enough. I don't have to respect it. Can can you can but, you can you? I can, I can accept it. Can you achieve progress if you've got people that don't want to try st- new stuff? This, this deals with a topic. I was just looking at the next topic, but you've just put it on there because I was gonna say earlier on when we were discussing this thing that I put in a post earlier. I put in a group earlier on. I said I had a dis- dispute with somebody. Well, not even a dispute. Are we even gonna, I thought we were going to discuss it. But gonna, well, this this brings it upon because in my head I was thinking you cannot progress unless you have challenge. You cannot progress, learn, move forward unless you have some sort of adversary or hurdle to get over. Otherwise, you live in a bubble mm. and if, if you're in a bubble, you don't grow. Mm. In my opinion, if everybody agrees with you, if everyone thinks you're right, if you only listen to what you agree with and that's all you allow in your life, that's you don't not, grow. That's your life though, isn't it? No, you can you can make that your life. I'm talking about you personally. I don't deal with people. I don't disagree with people. You do disagree with people all the time, but I'm no. talking about well, you, the second part where you said that what you say, you re- usually believe to be gospel, and that's it, really. No, no. Okay, you can. Everybody thinks what they're saying is right, you know, until they ch- until somebody challenges them and they say, oh, if you're if you're not being ignorant, you can say, oh, I've learned something new, or oh, you've given me a different point of a you know point of view. Just like in our chat in the uh, <laughs> in the WhatsApp group. That's Which what we're talking about now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, you know them cartoons where you have like birds and feathers in, in, in the head? In the brain, when they show the brain acting. You know yeah. what? My mind is still on, on the other thing, clearly. It involves two things. Food <laughs> yes. and Africa. <laughs> and Nigeria. Two of these four triggers. Yeah. The food and Nigeria. Yeah, food. So you're did, did the Ghanaian, sorry, did the Ghanaian guy take offense to it? See, he's kind of come back in the group and he's put a voice note in there and I know what he's like and I know that he's going to be a little bit he's feel, he will feel away about it a little no, bit I'll be okay. ready. Uh, I, want you, I want you to play it live <laughs> no no no, no. That's somebody I would love to play it live go on nah. that's somebody else's private yeah, sort of chat yeah. man let's hit we'll, we'll hit after that <laughs> <laughs> one time alright uh, let me actually find a thing yeah um, yeah can you imagine my missus asking me am I done now I'm like no no <laughs> 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 not at all we just started all right, um, all right. So uh, let me find this thing. Let me find this thing. Because uh, yeah, I, I was, want. To it was it was an interesting back and forth. It was a tiny back and forth. I don't think it was an interesting. I don't think it was interesting. No, the comment any was. Way, shape, it was on Twitter anyway. The comment was a lot of us. This is so. This is about the Nivea thing, so we can discuss that as well yeah, once, once we can get back to it. So a lot of us have internalized anti-blackness from comments we received as kids. Uh, Stay out of the sun is probably the most common. I've never heard that before. Have you? Any of you guys heard that? Not as black people. No, but Chinese people do that one. And Asians. Mm. But as a black, have you even heard of it being said to black people? I've heard of it before, but definitely not to me. These okay. new age Jamaicans I've that bleach. I've never heard a black person tell another black person. But, but anyways, um, so that's one part. And then it goes on to say, that's why the whole preference thing makes me laugh. Being attracted to lighter skin isn't in your DNA. You've been conditioned. And then I came back with, uh, that's not always true. I even put always in, in like uh, commas. So I, I'm underlining the fact I'm not saying it's no, that it's not, it doesn't happen, but it's not always true. Can you say the same for people with a preference for darker skin? No. Some people just like what they like. All right. Um, that's your response. Though. That's my response. Then uh, the comeback was only being attracted to light skin is conditioning. Only liking darker is preference because society doesn't put dark skin on a pedestal. And I asked, are you, you're joking, innit? Yeah. And I, I've, that, that was many hours ago and there's been no comeback from that. <laughs> no response. Right. So I'm saying that clearly... Because she mute you. No, I, I, I said that maybe I've been muted. Who knows? I don't, I don't know. Um, come on, come on. But the point is, she's a popular uh, tweeter in dialogue with people all the time. Uh, she's sensible, she's smart, and people agree with her and it's cool. But I think because I disagreed with what she said, it's like, well, I'm not talking to you then. I don't think I was rude with what I said. I'll be, was I rude? <laughs> no. All right. So I wasn't. So um, <laughs> I don't think I was rude with what I said. But it was like no. Uh, come no. Back. No. You said something after that could be seen as rude. Okay. After the um, you are joking, aren't you? A few minutes later, because I, I see they're, they're they're still tweeting like elsewhere. So you, I, as far as I'm concerned, you blanked me. And I said uh, that wasn't a rhetorical question, by the way. So you see, what happens here? Sometimes you write a fire tweet, and. You might even know the the uh, the security flaw in the in the tweet that you put down. You know it's not a hundred percent tight, and before it's but even no, left, no, left off, it's it. not even that. Like you know it's not a hundred percent tight, but 
you like the tweet so much that you put it out there, innit? And then somebody goes and finds the piece that you know isn't the type Before it's and even then, and, taken off. And then you. outlines it, like, in a way, like, to say, yeah, the thing is now, with how we are in society now, we automatically see that person as a hater, especially if there's, like, 19,000 likes on that one tweet, and then this person comes along and says that. You kind of, like, seem like you're having a jab. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're the one that's come to put down what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah, because it's wrong. Yeah, that's not the but point. But let it be wrong. Yeah, but who are, in the head of people these days, who are you to tell me what I can and cannot say and what's right I'm and not, what's wrong? I'm not saying you cannot or can't say anything. I'm debating <laughs> with you, you on, a, so, on social media. That's, yeah, but that's, 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 that's I'm saying, I said earlier, not everybody wants to have a debate on social media. Some people just want you to like and but retweet. this is my point. Like the, and retweet. The person, does, say, yes. the person does debate. That's the point. The person does debate. Often. But... Maybe it's me. So maybe it's just she. She's happy to debate with people that disagree with her, but not. She's not happy to debate with me. Maybe I don't know. I'm just saying. I like how he always gives himself special circumstances. Exactly. No, 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 no. So about him. Why you always make it special? <laughs> you just said that I'm rude and all that stuff because I've I've met this person before. Have you? I've, yeah, I've met them before. Oh, okay. Only once. Them? We have a mutual friend. Would no, you some up, uh, Probably. No, but I met her and uh, her fiance. The cool, cool people, man. As far as I was concerned, she's from Ghana. Cool. Yes. Well, then you're offended that straight away. <laughs> but I was with my Ghanaian wife beside me as well. Doesn't matter. Probably that's, like, that's, like, that's, like, that's like having a white person with a black person offended and say, oh, yeah, but I'm with my black partner. <laughs> that's exactly what you just did just it's there. True. Well, to, all right. And there, there is every chance. Like, if, if, some, if, if Jesus came down now and said, listen, you have to remember. And I said, I can't remember. Well, Je- fine. Jesus did, ain't coming down for did you, Did you bro. insult her for being Ghanaian or not? I'm going to say, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I probably did, you know it's, it's probably gonna be true. So you offended but that? It would have been a light, a light job to what, you. What, 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 what do you actually want to discuss, though? All right, there's there's two two things that spin off from this. One is uh, the thing about this filter bubble that I'm talking about that you just filter out anybody that doesn't agree with you. Um, we can be very specific and say because well, hello, you were arguing and with me and saying that what she was saying was right. Well, that's what I said. Go on, then you tell me what, what you said. What I said is. You know what she was talking about. No, uh, that, that's, okay. that's what I said. Oh, that's so annoying. Because, all right, what Stavros is saying is that she wrote something and I'm judging what she wrote and that's what I am debating. That's what I am coming back at. I'm not reading something she said and saying, oh, this person, they can write, but they're too stupid to know what they're saying. So let me change it to what I think they're saying because Why, I, why does it have to be stupid? Of, of course, because the person's written something. If they don't, if they're stupid... Then they're gonna write something they don't want me. No, no, it doesn't have to be stupidity to to, mis- if, to miswrite. Hold on, you don't have to be stupidity to write something maybe not as good or as as, as when the people say I can't express myself as, as good as others. Does that make, make that person stupid? If does it make that person stupid? But that's not what happened. She's written something. I've pointed out that that's not always the case. She hasn't then said the same. She hasn't even said the same thing back. She's zeroed in on exactly what the point I'm, I'm trying to, because she said a few things. Mm. And the one thing that I said, that's not always the case. She zeroed in on that, f- you know, made it more precise and then made it even made it even worse. So why is it I'm going to take that and say, twice you told me this thing, but you didn't actually mean what you said. I don't, I don't really ignore the most people when they're right. No, but, but, but the point is, why would you change what somebody said? Because unless you're, that's condescending. I'm condescending. Is that not the definition of condescending? Yep. You don't know what you mean. Yep. So yeah, I'm yeah. going to tell you what you mean. Yeah, I'm condescending then. So you know, that's mansplaining. I, yep. would, I would even have explained it. That's the point. I don't know even why you got into the conversation in the no, first place. No, I didn't explain it. I'm, I'm saying, I'm debating the fact that she's wrong. You're mansplaining by saying, oh, no, 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 this is what you mean. That's the definition of mansplaining. You say something, and he's like, oh, no, 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 that's not what it is. I know what you mean. But I would, do that, what you I would mean. do that to a man as well, though. But they ain't mansplaining but, when you only do it to women. Do you but this was a woman. Do you yeah, but I would do it to a man as well. But it doesn't matter. In this case, it is a woman. Okay, well, I'd, I'd, we've all mansplaining or mansplaining. Well, Hala, do you think that she was wrong with her statement? Oh, yeah. She, what she wrote was incorrect. Okay, what part of it? Um, just break it down a little bit. Right. The bit that I kind of agree with is that... Um, of course, it's not for me. I don't think it's necessarily your DNA that is going to allow you to have preference. I think preference in this capacity, I think preference comes from outside influences such as the media, such as what people tell you is beautiful and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that for you to then say, and the problem with this, this, this scenario I've got is because you're saying if somebody only likes, because I think if both, both of them, somebody only likes dark skin and somebody only likes light skin, I think again, that's conditioning. Yeah. In my pers- pers- personal opinion, it's obviously like, I only like dark skinned girls. Only. Mm. No, don't even like light skinned girls at all. Don't want to see them. Don't touch them. Then, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, something in you has been conditioned to only like dark skinned p- people. So, Same way with, I would say that if somebody says to me, I only like light skinned girls, 
dark skinned girl, uh, girls are butters. Don't like them. Blah blah so blah. So not blah. everything Did she said is wrong to you, then. Oh, no, that's not. That's I've what said, he said. He said not everything. He, he agrees with the first part. Yeah. Or the yeah. part about the. But the bit that I don't agree with is that she's saying that if only what only one of them is uh, is um conditioning and the other one's not. Yes. So either both of that. them is conditioning or both of them are not. The reason but you can't say one is conditioning and the other one's not. Well, because she's talking about mass media and society saying that light skin is better. Yes, that's true. All right. So she's saying that if you if you have then gone about your way to like the opposite, then clearly you haven't been conditioned. Yeah, but you can though because you could say to yourself, you could come from a family where they only they go against the media so badly that they've conditioned you to say you don't like light skin. You don't do this. Or you can even think to yourself as a, as a whole saying, in society, maybe you're a dark-skinned person yourself. You don't like the way that you've been treated as a dark-skinned person by light-skinned people or people around you that claim to only like light skin. So I'm not going to those people again. I'm only going to deal with dark skin. Anyway, that, that was a, that was the argument I, I brought up anyway. So I said that. That was, well, not on Twitter anymore because they, they blanked me, but I brought it up in, in our group and I said that could be the case. But the point is that you can't throw that magic blanket on top of everybody and say that's the case. Because there's people g- growing up isolated without all these influences without the media without society telling them this or that and they still have a preference so I have a preference for Big Bottom and I've had a preference for Big <laughs> hold on let me finish where, where let me is finish, people let me is finish, growing let me up without this, me. without this influence back in the day and Mr. Wolf is the one that's old enough to remember this back in the <laughs> day when it was My Baby Got Back when you saw uh, Ice T videos and all this and uh, back at Ice Cube old school, did, did girls have Big Bottoms in these videos? no no they yeah. not like they no. not the art. But Stavros still today. loved Big Bottom. It mm-hmm. didn't matter. It, it was nothing to do yeah, with what I, what like I was watching. Big butts and I cannot lie. And go watch the video and see if the butt. Yeah, the but w- the, the wording is no. I like big butts yes, and I cannot lie. You know, you know, you know, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but what you saying that he wasn't influenced? When, when I was watching those videos. Those were not the bombs I liked. But they said, I you're like not, big butts. And I get, you're, not, you're not getting what I'm saying. I am getting what you're saying. I'm saying to you, you as much as the visual might not have been there, the, the audio was still there, no? No, he's saying it didn't, uh, like the lyrics didn't influence the way how he felt. All white people he, are racist. He felt like that anyway. I don't know why I randomly said that. I, Before the song. Okay. You can, all right. That was their idea of big bomb. Yeah? Okay. All right. So you think so, you're surrounded. So you can go, you... Well, who's, who's the sister of the, the princess? Um, Middleton. Is it Middleton? Yeah. Pippa. Pippa. The one that they say he's got big bottom. Or whatever, <laughs> or fantastic bottom. Yeah? Yeah, but that's English but, but, bottom, but That's it? my point. For some people, that's big bottom. But for me, that's not big bottom. So you can tell me that's they big bottom. They don't call it big. They call it like pert. All right. Whatever they want to call it, yeah? Once I'm looking at that, I'm saying that's 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 flat bottom to me. That's iron, isn't it? That's, that's, that's what it is. Yeah? <laughs> it's to me. So it doesn't matter what society is saying, and that's what the whole of the British society was saying. To me, that was nothing. So it doesn't matter what society told me. I've always liked massive bumps yeah <laughs> he went from big to massive <laughs> yes Jeez, that's, that's what I've that's what I've always liked yeah? inflation that, that's that's my thing so it didn't matter what society said you like the so shape of eyes, eyes shape. yes like so eyes. I'm just saying that yes <laughs> society has and will influence <laughs> what people like but it's not a blanket thing that you only like something because of what society said there are people that is just they prefer light skin not because of what else? Not what, what is that? Outside influences. Yeah, yeah, but there's you, you there, just, but you, the, you, the thing that's been there is not put just prefer. It's like they, if you put it yeah, in there, it says it's, it's, it's very extreme. It says they only like light skin. Oh, well, yeah. I'll find then that then as well. Then no, but then I only like girls with big butt. No, but wait, here's the thing. No, you don't. Here's the thing. You don't <laughs> only like girls with big butt. Well, I'm not. I'm not going out with girls with no butt. But you don't only like girls with big butt. Because you, 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 you've established that you quite like Issa, Issa Rae, yeah, and you've established she's got no bottom. Okay, so let's just end that. Now. All right, then fine. I'm not entertaining a woman. Without a big bottom, you, so if if you were single, Ooh, hang on now, Ooh. and she, and you could date her or entertain her in any way, shape, or form, you would tell her no. Just to stop this discussion. Exactly, now, right? exactly, exactly, you know exactly. A, you know what? Exactly. There's, there's a story that I will say. Just press. It's true. <laughs> That's a sound effect right there. Just there's a, there's a story that I will say, outside of the the actual podcast, mm-hmm. and I'll and I will. Um, You've got to take that one. Just yeah, and I'll do that too. Why did you make me do this, man? Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, so uh, let's talk about this Nivea business that it started off from, anyways. Nivea. Oh, we, uh, we, 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 we moved, moved on, on real on. quick there, oh, didn't we? Hold on, There was no segue there, but but we never really touched on what Simple Simon said. Even you, you didn't even have your own bit of discussion about this as well. But about what then? About the thing you was on to discuss in the first place. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to discuss it at all, but now you got there. I would. <sighs> man, skipped when it comes to the. No, okay, because, well, because what, what Simple is, Simon did, did I not answer the question? Huh? Did I not answer the question? Yeah, but he's just shown you why you were... But I changed... It. All right, and 
I, 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 I use a word and then I change the word. If you want, because this is what happens. You stick on the word. This is what I just said. This is the exact way this thing started. You need the uh, the the uh, the, now. The, the the pressure and uh, the pushback to grow and learn. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I've said a word. You've told me is oh, really is that the case? And you've proved me wrong. So what did I do? I changed the word. So, but what you want to do is you want to keep me back where I was before. No, no, so, you, no. You, I've you, accepted that I was wrong, and I've tra- and I've re- reevaluated the situation, said what is correct, and yeah. tried to move on. He's apologize. like, oh, you've moved on now, innit? So, what do you want me to do? Stick, 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 stick being wrong. Somebody's gonna hold me down. down. We want you to apologize oh, and I kneel down. I don't have to apologize. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is the thing. So you can't. A man Broken can't just say he's wrong. Everywhere. But this, this, this is this is my point. I don't like the fact that. You, some people will just cut off. I'm not listening to people that disagree with me. And then there's people that, even when you admit that you're wrong and you want to move on, you admit it. No, you, not you, you, you didn't really on. admit that you were wrong. I did. Wrong. I did. You, no, you, did, you, you went quiet and you just changed now the subject. You, just now you admitted you were wrong. You just, before, you know, before, you did, said, before you didn't admit you were wrong. So you just but moved it's on. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I changed the word. So once you said, what this? I said, right, and that. That's me and I was wrong then, no, isn't it? No, it's not. That's oh, just changing the word. Hold on, no, no, no. So if somebody says, if you go down this road, is is that such and such? And you say, yeah. And you say, you sure it's not that way? Is that. You're, let me uh, not say okay. you say no. You say, uh, no, you say you okay. It's that way. You, you were wrong in the first. But place, if right? you say okay, it's that way. You're not admitting that you're wrong. No. If somebody said to me okay, it's that way, I might take it in a way like, are you trying to say, are you getting a vex, vex because I'm going against what you told me? That's because you're thinking like a woman. The man just said it's all right. That oh, it's that way. Now. Wow. Oh, so man. rather than apologize, you just insult, man. All right, cool. If anyways, what do you want to do? This thing is making noise, man. So what this? yeah, it's making bare noise. Oh, damn. I'm planning it there then. What do you do want him to say before we moved on? No, no, no. So, so good. Um, we'll say it, man. No, we, we've touched on it. We have touched on it. We've got, we've gone past you now. Don't we, worry. we have touched. Yeah, it wasn't me anymore. About, I wanted to move no, on. No, no. Uh, uh, about the growth and testing people and all that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. all good because uh, it it, it, it kind of segued from the whole food and Nigeria stuff. How yeah. do you kind of grow? Um, how do you kind of grow and understand things if you ain't prepared to test and mm. try them out? Yeah. Yep. All right. So Nivea. Mm-hmm. They are selling a skin lightening cream in, I think it's West Africa. So it's, it's uh, Ghana and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they had an advert, which is, it was a Nigerian advert. It had a, I think, uh, and in the poster is a Nigerian, like Miss Nigeria, such and such. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think. In the, in, you know, I so, didn't know that. Yeah. Um, and basically, she's putting on this lightning screen, making her skin blemish free and and looking so fresh. And then she goes to to school to pick up her. It must be your your brother, your little brother, or sister. Hello, mommy. Oh my God, it's your mother. And that is the advert. And there's pushback on this Nivea thing because of that. Now, pushback I'm, on to Nivea. Yeah, because uh, they're saying, uh, you, how dare you put lightning uh, cream on our TVs and in our posters, big posters in all over West Africa. Uh, where did they ban it? They banned it in Ghana, innit? No, it's bleaching well, creams. Well, yeah, bleaching creams in Ghana. Ghana but yeah. is it bleaching or is it like Well, this cream? is being sold in Ghana as well. The, the post, like the tw- some of the tweets I saw were from Ghana. I think people maybe like, how, can you, how dare you put this in the middle of Ghana? I think maybe there, there's a, people are uh, distinguishing between bleaching creams and lightning creams, you know? Yeah, because pr- probably one, one probably just more chemically like harsh than another. Yeah, it's kind of still the same thing, isn't it? Mm. But I, I've been to India. And that's, that, that's the answer to that question on its own. Because when I say that, when I was at India, every, worse. Every, no, every advert, every advertisement, there was about two to three adverts. Let's say, let me not exaggerate. Maybe there's two adverts within the adverts that's there of them showing somebody, uh, give me a different so lightning cream. There are two adverts within every commercial break. Yeah. Literally, of, of lightning creams. And all of the big stars, like the cricketers, the blah, 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 all in them. Endorsing them. And, and it's all of these... Uh, um, Big uh, um, brands. brands that you didn't think did lightning creams. Yeah, palm olive. Yeah, and but they all do. All of them do lightning creams. Twenty six years of Johnson and Johnson. It's like, crazy. Unilever yeah. runs that thing. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Dove, yeah. It's, so it's, I was saying, I don't care. I, I, there's no backlash from me. There should never be a market for it in the first place. Yes, I'm more interested or upset or concerned with the people taking the bleach. Than or, the or, or the lightning cream, then the people said selling it. taking the bleach yes. like it was a drug. The pushback <laughs> that I know I will get. Are you on bleach? The pushback I know I get from you. some people is that well, if it's not there for it to be sold, then these people won't take it, and they are also help helping to perpetuate this problem. That's just, just like just, so you can't just say it's, it's nothing because they're perpetuating the problem. They're making it worse. This impressionable five, six, seven, eight year old is watching these adverts and when they come of age that they can buy it, they'll buy it too. I completely agree with that. If the advert wasn't on the TV, then they never would have bought it. 
That I completely agree. Okay, with. well, good good for your parents then. Raising children that want to bleach themselves. Yeah, but this is the point. You say good for your parents, but you got a child. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the child's gonna do everything that you tell them to do? If my child grows up wanting to bleach themselves, that's not what I asked you. I have failed. <laughs> yeah. That's no, but I'm just giving you the bottom line. Yeah, I've but failed. There's, there's many things In that, that respect, you're gonna tell I've your child. Failed. That you should do, you should do this way, and and there's many things that the media is gonna tell them a different way, okay. and they're gonna at times pick the media's way, and then and I would have failed in that respect. Unfortunately, this is one of the times when people made, and it's not just the media. This is the problem. It's not just the media now, is it? If um, as you say, there are men out there that's telling you, I only like dark skin or light skin women. Yes, and women, and, and, and women, and yeah, and men, women as well. And mm-hmm. I only want women that bleach or or lighten their skin. Yeah. Girls may go and lighten their skin as well as boys. Do you reckon? Is, is there men out there that want, only want women that bleach? I think so. Rah. Back a yard. I think so. I don't I even know if it's back a yard. Have you seen some of these Cameroon cats? I think it's all, real, all over, the, all well, over black enough places. And, and, and brown places. They're doing this polarky. But I think that it's a case that people are not just doing... I, I don't know. I've always wondered if it's mental issues for somebody to go and bleach. That's my personal opinion. But... I just don't know. I man. know someone who bleached. Um, kind, uh, well, kind of an in-law, in-law kind of person. Claim them. Nope. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I asked them, why did you do this? And she said that she was going through some rough times. Why did you marry? Hang that, on, wait. So she yeah. she bleached her skin because she's going through rough times. That she felt that it would make her it would make her m- feel better and, and get more money. Whatever, mate. But I, she I, might, she I might have been onto something. I don't know, maybe. No, nah, I man. don't know, man. You go to an interview and see, your, your, your couple shades lighter. Look, look. Don't look, look, so, look, don't look, look so look. aggressive. When we see this, this woman that's injecting herself with melanin and we see this woman that's said Rachel Dozo or whatever that said they want to be black, we go out of our way to, uh, well, as our blacks, you know, as our blacks, yeah? yeah. We go out of our way to abuse them, call them this, they call them that, blah, blah, blah. We have to sit down and cuss them. But then we've got people in our own community that's fully bleaching. Yeah. Who, who cusses them? Not me. You don't cuss the woman that went to go and inject herself in Berlin. Go listen to the podcast we spoke about. It. What do I care? I don't care about these people. I keep telling you, I don't care okay, about them. But as blacks in general, we cuss them a lot, yeah? Mm-hmm. Saying that they're taking our this, they're taking our that, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are we doing bleaching? Well, bleaching. It's ours, damn it. <laughs> is that what you're bleaching our thing well, well, that's ours. let's reclaim it white like, people bleach as well you know let's, let's reclaim it like we reclaim the word nigga yeah but white people bleach <laughs> white people bleach in interesting ways <laughs> they bleach their anus exactly they I bleach don't know their why anus and all those kind of things like for it to look better I don't know yeah. and it let's, let's not forget the orientals that even wear uh, wear you know put up umbrellas oh, in, yeah. the, in the sun because they want to be even lighter than they already are yeah it's just madness but I just oh, ghost me, in the shell it's, I, only, it's only whites that want to look darker uh, I need a tan I need a tan I, I don't understand <laughs> yeah, everybody I, else wants to be like I'm assuming that the world is becoming the, the world is becoming more as woke as what people like to call it or whatever that's why now this has become a problem because I don't understand like like this hasn't been happening for years this is not a new woke. thing but I think it's because it's after all the stuff that's happened recently in the past year or two with all these uh, dove adverts and whatever you know is it the people back white, home white actually is or is it people in a display? Well, like I said, I saw tweets from, uh, from, people from back, Ghana. There's people back at home that are not happy about these kind of things as well. I've seen some TV shows and stuff um, where they do like uh, phone-ins and, and um, they have debates with young people from Nigerian society in particular. I forget what it's called, but it's on um, one of them TNC or something channels. Mm. And it, um, they've, They have debates about bleaching, about all kinds of stuff that we see as being massive part of modern life they have these debates so people on the ground are talking about it and a lot of people don't like it and mm. Nivea gave an apology oh we're sorry if you um you don't like the advert and you don't like the cream but we're, we're still selling it <laughs> yeah because they're probably selling well, quite a lot of it we ain't gonna stop selling it of course not no. so I don't even know why they gave the apology man they because people re- just it, it apologise and move on man God I don't f- understand why people this is what I say apologies are nothing because I'll apologise for anything but it's not gonna stop me from going about my day just making an apology but it'll make you feel better. So then, yeah, sorry, 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 mate. You just lost every argument in your house from here on forward. What? <laughs> Why? I just say sorry. I just say sorry. Well, I, listen, I, I, I'm not allowed to say sorry for no reason to be my missus, apparently. But you I, shouldn't say sorry unless you mean unless it. Unless you mean it, man. No, but there's sometimes you... This is the thing about stories, yeah? Daddy. There's some there's things about stories, yeah? There's sometimes you say... So I always say sorry for upsetting somebody when I didn't mean to upset them. So I will say that. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry I upset you. Yeah? Yeah, so you right? mean it. What? You mean it then? No, I'm not disputing that I didn't mean the thing, but I will tell you I'm sorry for upsetting you. I'm sorry that what I've said is upset you, but doesn't mean I'm sorry for what I said. Okay. So that's how I am with that. But 
If somebody I don't care about is complaining, I'll tell them, sorry, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> any yeah. a loco. Yes, a any, any hola. Any hola, loco. Um, I'm, I'm. You're the, you're the, you're the football resident. Yeah, yeah, this is this your job, man. Well, anything football, you have to take, I'll, I'll leave it to you to take control. Okay, hopefully everybody knows about the story already. Well, you say it you know what? You know the weird thing is, I was in a group. Well, I'm in another group, yeah, Liverpool group, yeah. And there was this guy in the group. Do you tell each other about antidepressants? Oh man, not really. We may need some, but this guy. We were talking about some pro-black stuff in it, and this guy said that he doesn't know who Colin Kaepernick is. Yeah, so it's possible. But everyone would know, man. Possible. He's an American football player. Not everybody pays any mind to that stuff. My mum knows who he is. <laughs> your mum's a legend your mum's involved in it she watches the news you know I was at work the other day and um, I was minding my own business on one side of the room and there was a couple of guys on the other side of the room a couple of white guys and they were they white were, guys and I had my headphones I was like so I had my headphones in but I wasn't actually listening to anything and then these guys got to talking about Colin Kaepernick because okay. they're both American football fans oh right yeah um, and they were like oh it's disgraceful what these people are doing I was dead Shit. He's like, you know, just disregarding the flag, and you know, you know, our, 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 because one of them is American. Our Did vet, you our veterans, No, you know, I sat there thinking, I'm not. You I, should have, bro. I, I, I Did you bitch? No, 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 no. You're supposed I to get up as a black and throw I, your newspaper down on the floor or whatever you was reading. That I said to him, us? we disrespect nothing. <laughs> you know, what? I was thinking I'm gonna get up and say something, and then it carried on, and they they went up to Trump and how they they support Trump. Oh my days! There you go. Just there. And but this is what I realized. These people have forgotten how many this <laughs> You should have stood up and just forgotten. Or they don't the 13 care. minus 50 goddamn fault of seven. Forgotten or they don't care. What can you do? No, I don't I don't I think they they had zoned out and just didn't realise that because I had my, my iPad in front of me, they thought I was just watching a film. I've been paying no mind to them this whole time. You should have told them to go I, back to where they come from then. It was it was just like and I thought Wow, you know them times when they say you better watch out for these people, man, because but when they say something to your face, but behind your back, because I'm an American football fan too. Both of them I've spoken to, you know, individually about American football. One of them I've been to the pub with, like just a, oh just a few weeks ago. Geez. You get me? And you were talking about his, yeah, his, token, his, his wife, when, you, his, when you speak to him again, you should ask him. Yeah, the token, man. What he thinks about yeah. taking any? He was the black guy, and see player. if he's brave enough to when say I, it to I, your I face Be- because yeah. he's like, you know, blah blah. And you know, recently. Uh, well, sorry, We'll get back to your your team yeah, very cool, quickly cool. because yes, we, Luka, cause the American football board have got together and they've they've decided that they're not they're not going to stop people from taking a knee. They're not going to stop people from doing whatever they want to do yes. during the national Good on anthem. Them. Trump has got vexed about it. Blah 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 blah. You're not but invited. He didn't get vexed with Eminem. But carry on. But um, because one of the managers of uh, I think it's Dallas Cowboys, he said he doesn't want his players doing it. So I'm interested when uh, by the time you hear this podcast, it, it would have happened where the Dallas Cowboys would have played their next game. And we'll see if they if the players do it because I think he's like he's ba- basically he's gonna call up arms if you people do it. It's a beef thing. This Jerry Jones is is friends with Trump as well, but um, you're not invited. What <laughs> they're saying? Because I was listening to a to a um a radio show and they were talking. I'm sorry, it was a politician. He's like, you know what? We don't mind them having the protesting, but can't they find a different way to protest? Like we're gonna try and figure out a different way to do it. We'll give them money. This is what they say. We'll give them money and then give them opportunity to protest in other ways. And it's like what that that, uh, that T-shirt that Colin Kaepernick says. It says, you know, we stand up, we get shot. You know, we sit down, we get blah blah. It's like even if we just kneel down, we we can't do it. It's like how are we meant to protest? It's like if you can tell me how I should protest, it's, it's not, not protest, protest exactly. It's not you a know. protest, but anyway, sorry. That, that no, was no, no, you don't need Stand to apologise for that. Because Sit down, shot, black, sleeping, shot. Black. What do you want me to? Do? What do you want me to do? I exactly. can't. It's like it's a silent, it's a silent protest. And so even that's now, you need to find a different way to protest. You so know the got, the American. Well, sorry, um, Mahalo. There's there's an American uh, show on I think on Channel Four, one of those pro, uh, channels, and there's a, I think he's a Nigerian born. American, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. Did you hear what he said about no? That, what did he say? The whole thing. Please, was, please don't let me, let me down because I actually like this dude. Nah, he went in and he basically gave a little bit of a history lesson on how America was built, and he said that America was built on protest. Like, you know what? I he like was this built dude. on protest. I like oh, this is the American football thing. Yeah, I like, I've seen it. I, yeah, I, I like it. this dude so much. I said, I told my wife, if you if you wanted somebody else, he's the type of person you can <laughs> you should go for. <laughs> I, I really, really like that dude. You know? I'm going to say it in the group because you, you don't see too many uh, uh, um, Americans that are Nigerian that are fully proud that they're Nigerian because he doesn't. 
you know, he goes back home. I see him with pictures of himself back in back in Nigeria. I'm like, this because he's a big American. Well, he's an ex-American football player, mm. like, like millionaire. But anyways, yeah, he basically said that this place was built good, on good, good. built on protest. He, he hasn't let me down. Yeah, and he's saying that um, the only person that is disrespecting the flag is the president by making this noise about people protesting when the country was built on protest. And is it uh, the First Amendment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The First yeah. Amendment gives you the the, the right to protest, and to, that's to what they're doing. So, if you're trying to take that away from the people, then you are then going against what the flag and what the country represents. So, um, Bush and those idiots at your workplace, Bush, you know. Um, sorry, <laughs> Bush is <laughs> getting he Bush. Went. Bush went at Trump yesterday. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Oh, yesterday, Trump. Bush. Trump. <laughs> Bush, you know. Bush went at Trump. I Bush and what? Obama, both of them had separate um, speeches. Basically, they're like, um, you know, we need to be more together. They're all of a sudden, like, politics is dividing people. We can't be like that. B- so, hold this, on. This is who what Bush, went, who hold went on. at Trump? This is what Bush said. B- uh, Bush and Obama in separate... <laughs> <laughs> what did Bush say? In separate speeches. This, is, this, this was the highlight. He said, you know, um, immigration has done wonderful things for our country. We, we can't, like, we shouldn't stop it. Bush. 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 Have you heard what he Bush. said today about the UK? He's a has got The Bush. UK... Um, has got a high crime figures and it's because of the Muslims. He said Who's that? Oh. Bush, I mean, Trump. Don't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he said the high, the UK crime figures has increased by 13 point something percent and that's because of the Muslim immigrants. <sighs> wow. He's an idiot, man. And their terrorism. Let's, let's go back to any man. Sister any. Yes, Sister Annie Oluko. <laughs> yeah, basically, um, oh, this week, um, Annie Oluko um, practically won the case that she put forward to the uh was that a case man it's not practically man she it was an inquiry inquiry and she was vindicated a, a public inquiry um and in the she, house of commons yeah man and the questions were answered by her by the um chief executive for the fa by a number of people who investigated her um allegations of racism we all knew that um what she was saying was the truth and um just to all, recap for people that don't know and he's an English football player uh, for the English football team and she plays for Chelsea or whatever, I don't know. What it, whatever. But it's, it, irrespective, her manager kind of like benched her and she claimed that he made some racial remarks. Racist remarks. Yeah, basically. Uh, he said that it wasn't happened uh, and then a few weeks later he got uh, Fired ejected for. for other things. She stood her ground and said this is what happened for some reason. Because I, I don't know why this inquiry happened but there was an inquiry and then it came out that Yes, it was it true. In fact, he did make racial remarks to her and another player. There was an inquiry because initially the FA said that he didn't say anything. And because basically they said that whatever she was saying, there, there was not enough proof for it to go any further. And um, there, there's a, a slight misconception as well about the money that she received. 80 bags apparently. Yeah, yeah she, but she didn't receive all the money she, because she, she didn't won, sign everything. Yeah, once she hasn't received all of the money, and it was a payment of um, a compensation payment because of the wrongdoings of the manager. Mm. So well, either so way, they had the FA uh, inquiry. It was brought out that he did, in fact, make racial comments against any and another player. I don't, can't remember her name. Sorry, and, Sanderson. Uh, something Sanderson. Okay. So clearly, she's been vindicated in her, you know, remarks. She was very upset with her fellow players when the game after this all happened. And, um, and, and there was a coon. It was a coon who ran <laughs> up to the manager <laughs> to give him a big hug and say that we support you. Can we establish that David James is King Coon? 100%. King coon. But we will get to that in just a second. There's um, the two major things here. Is one, that the English manager did indeed make those comments. And two, which is just as bad, is that the FA tried to brush it all under the carpet. And there is systematic racism everywhere. But when you see it as blatant as that, it is not a good look. So, Enya Luko went as far as she could to uh, vindicate herself and to uh, make sure that the truth came out. And uh, we got to give her a salute for that. Tell the truth. Salute, man. Tell the truth. But let's go to David James now. Because that's, David James that's the one that pissed me off. Coon. Because I didn't know. I didn't, I'm assuming that this was done before, yeah? I didn't know about this tweet let until, me, let me try until Stormzy brought tweet. it back up. Yeah, the tweet came out the first time around yeah, and the FA yeah. tried to dismiss the charges. In fact, let's pick up Stormzy first because Stormzy, when it came out, Stormzy went searching for man's that he said, where are the dickheads that were telling me that she, that she, that she, what she said was wrong? Where are they? I'm going to find mm. you. I've got time. For, he actually said, I've got time, I got time, today. time for you today. Yeah. And then he went to go find him. David, David James. James. 
Oh, you can't find the tweet anymore because he deleted it. I'll find that. Yeah, picture. I saw it even got yeah, deleted you'll, out you'll, of Stormzy. You'll, you'll find it. I, I you'll didn't, find didn't it. I send it in a group? Yeah, so but I think I kind of remember what he said anyway. He said that um, it's a shame that the, a very good English manager has had to leave their jobs because some people are not good enough to get in the team. Hashtag, waste, of, waste of talent. Yeah, waste of talent. Hashtag Enya Luko. Yeah, and basically, as soon as en- Enya Luko made those claims, she got dropped. Yes. England's highest uh, goal scorer, and also she had over 100 caps. So you don't just become shit overnight. Mm, mm. She got dropped because 2006, of the claims. 2015, she was the top scorer in the league as well. For I'm me, saying. he is the one that needs to look at himself and feel shame because he is half black. Shame. He deleted the messages shame. Shame. only shame. yesterday. Shame. 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 Bitch. Yes, say it. Cunt. Yes. <laughs> David James is He's a cunt. allowed to say it. <laughs> say it. Say it to that bastard. Because this is what I'm trying to say, yeah? David James, you're a bitch. Out of everyone, there's bare black footballers. We know there are. There's many in, in, in the England team and blah, blah, blah. But you expect your brothers to back your sister, innit? Your sister's telling you that racist things is out there. He, David James, should know that there's racist things he, are out there. He's not one of us. But he obviously isn't. He's not one of us. He's a coon. He's also an ex-Liverpool supporter. I mean, player. Just let you know. Yeah, standard king. Raven Simone's brother. Well, I don't understand it. Like, <laughs> and out of and everyone, the funny, they yeah. brought him out. It's like they brought him out and there, was, there must have been clapping for him. Like, oh, thank you, David. Thank Lacey you, David. Dash's cousin. Yes, David Thank you, cousin. David, for coming out to come and show the, the blackies out there that, you know, we're not all bad. It's just terrible. Like, why would you be the one that wants to come and... F- like, let them other people go and say what they want to say. You shouldn't be coming to try and find man and say what they're saying. I, properly, and I was properly vexed because I didn't know he did it. I was thinking, everyone, why wouldn't it be you? Like you. Yeah. I, I know. Like, John Terry, we expect it, innit? <laughs> it's true. What rise, what, man, like he, you? what rise did he get out of that? I don't know, man. But this, as far as I'm concerned, don't talk to somebody until you win a league title because she's got one. You don't, bruv. Sit down and shut your mouth. Let she, me let me quote what he, exa- he, what he said exactly. He said, uh, Mark Sampson sacked as uh, England uh, women's uh, manager. Seems some wasted talent can't deal with the fact they aren't good enough. Hashtag any Luca. Find him. I, I probably should beat him up. No, I probably should beat the it, shit out of him. For what, for what? Good enough for what? Because if you're a top scorer in the league, top scorer for the country, how, how much better can you get? It's not, it's not, she's not light enough in it. That's why. What? What? Yeah, she's not me. Dark. She should be using that Nivea cream. Mm, what? That's what mm-hmm. they say. Bruh. I was, I was so, I was vexed. I'll tell you what made me vex, and this is what made me think. You know, maybe I'm racist. Because Harvey Weinstein has, you know, dealt with all these women improperly when it's and is for the past couple of weeks. Angelina Jolie. Yes. And Angelina goes, Jolie even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes on and on and on and on. And I've been, we've spoken about it last week what and, was th- and my heart has gone out. Go there, there was a woman that was warning in an interview. What was her name again? Oh, it's um, ah, in 1995. Something Love. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Courtney Love. Courtney, Courtney Love. Love. Yeah, she said. Kurt Cobain's wife. Yeah, she said. On a, in an interview, you know, live interview, they were Even like, "Oh, an interview, it was on the red carpet, bro." Yeah. yeah, and she was like, "Yeah, if if Harvey Weinstein invites you over to a party, no, don't go." Bro, you need to remember what the question was. What can you give? What advice can you give to anybody up and coming? Yeah, who wants to make it in the business? In really? Yeah. And this was before all the claims come out. Nineteen ninety-five. She said this. She said, wow. She said she looked at her publisher. So one somebody had said, "I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get uh, done for, for, for slander, but libel, and libel. Then, I'm gonna get done for libel, and she, and then it's like she just." I'm gonna say it anyway. Who said it? Courtney Love. Courtney Love. Oh. If, if he said, "Come to your yard," I was yard, looking at the thing, man. Now, no. but anyways, yeah. So he said, "If if um if Harvey Weinstein invites you over for so a pool party, don't Courtney go." Courtney Love. Now she hasn't done much, has she? Well, that's because of the drugs. No, yeah, no, but, but she, yeah, yeah. But she's yeah, been she out with him in, nicely. In, anyways, that was the point. So he's mm-hmm. done all this stuff. I've been disgusted. I've been upset. You know, on behalf of mm-hmm. women. Um, this thing come out about uh, what's the one that we're talking about that does Kill Bill? Um, the, uh, uh, Quentin, Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino basically said that he knew about it and yep. he, d- he didn't do nothing. Yeah, well, I expect like, wow. that from him. But okay, anyway, so all this happened. I know, but you know, my my heart kind of dealt with it. I mean, my head was was, but my heart dealt with it. And then, and then, my sister, my auntie, my niece, you know, my cousin. Lu, who, who? Lupita Nyango God damn. has written a post in the New York Times saying that before her career even started, so before her first film, which she won an Oscar for, by the way, her first major film. So this is after Sugar? Yeah, but that was a film. So Sugar is an MTV program that was in Africa. She's, uh, and uh, she was in that. That's when I fell in 
in, in lust with uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Anyways, she said before she got she got to Hollywood, she was studying and she was trying to get into the business of film in America. Somebody introduced her to Harvey. He int- he took her to his house and then introduced her to his bedroom and said, let me massage you. And she's like, whoa. She had been warned, by the way. Really? So somebody warned her as About well. Him. Yes. And then she said, I have to say, let me massage you instead because at least then I'm in some sort of control. And she did her thing and then he said, look, let's do something. And she's like, no. And he, ran out. Yeah, he wanted to take down his trousers. And she yeah. said, um, if no. you take down your trousers, that'll make me extremely comfortable. And then he went Uncomfortable. Ahead. Extremely uncomfortable, yeah. And then you um, said comfortable the no, first time. Oh God! Yes, you did. Rewind it back, and and then and <laughs> then <laughs> and then when you listen to it, I want an apology. Yeah. Uh, it, hang on. Are you are you arguing? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna edit this. All I'm gonna three rewind of us. it. I'm gonna rewind it. I'm gonna rewind it in the edit. You, on, on a post card, yeah. I'm gonna rewind it on the edit. Go ahead. Go three ahead. times. Continue. <laughs> um, if no. you take down your trousers, that'll make me extremely comfortable. 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 Extremely comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, um, and he got up and he did it anyway. And then that's when she decided to split. No, and he apparently, started to do it. I don't think he... he yeah, he, yeah, and then she kind of done it. And, but, and, but, but, but uh, sorry, apparently part of uh, uh, her uh, lessons in uh, acting was Yeah, but this is, that's, that's a standard thing though, isn't it? I've never heard about I've been to acting classes, man. They you make say it, they standard make... things like everybody knows these things. Yeah, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it doesn't mean anything to the story. Of course it does. Okay, what does it mean? Well, the fact that she, if she hadn't practiced that uh, massage uh, thing in her um, uh, lessons, I don't think that it would have came to her mind. She would never thought of trying to give him a, a massage. Nah, that was a survival technique, bro. You get That's me? not Africa. Africa. Anyways, my head top blew off. You know, like anger in that, um, that, that, that film about the emotions and it, the head blows and there's fire come out of his, his, his head. That can't even. That's what I was like. And this is when I realised that because it's my sister, I'm vexed. If that man was in front of me, I'd be in jail potentially. When I read that article, I would have shanked him in his eye. Wow. Listen, it's... Uh, I, oh. Because you felt it as a father. I felt it differently. I, and th- as I, a father. I felt it differently. And then this goes back to what we were saying last week about if you feel something more, if you're a father of a daughter, when they say, well, as a father of a daughter, I feel this. And as a father of a daughter, I feel that. And now I'm realising... But as a sister of a black person, I feel it even more. So because I felt it even more. This is what's interesting because we had a conversation one time about films and acting and whether seeing somebody who looks like you helps you to bond with the character that the person's acting, and he said it doesn't make a difference. But this is not acting. So let's take it's the about fact affinity. That it's not acting. It's he about affinity. likes her. <laughs> <laughs> he liked her for a very long time. <laughs> so um, I don't think we need to dwell too much on that because we have other topics to talk about. Unless you might want to talk about it. For no. me personally, it's just like it's just one. more, more, and more. Can and we, let's let's get into some of these things that the re- people have requested, man. Ah, yes, okay then. Because we got we haven't got we've gone. All right then. Lot. So let's stick with the same theme. Solo forty five. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. This is boy. What, <laughs> what is this? Solo All right. So four. Solo forty five is the one that the one that sings "Feed Them to the Lions." He's, we hear that song, he's yeah? a member of Boy Better. Know. Feed Them to the Lions. He's the tongue man that always has his top off. Okay. Oh, him, feed him. them to the Lions. That's his song. Yeah, that's the I only know, song I've ever know. heard him do. Yeah. Ever. I've never heard him do anything else. I've heard the story. Go on. Let but me yeah. find the article. Run with it. He uh, has been accused of twenty nine ra- rapes. rapes. Is it twenty nine assaults or twenty nine sexual rapes? assaults? Accused of and rapes. And then there's another twenty seven they wanted to talk to him about. Yeah, I, well, I, I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure about it. the rapes are all with one person, or it's more than one person. Because I think what they're saying is that he Police. trapped this one per- one person and was doing whatever he was doing to the girl for a period of time. Okay. He was, no, he was due difference. to stand trial um, a few days ago. For one for incident. For two minute. counts of rape. Okay. And they halted the trial because of another 27 additional charges. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean 27 additional people. That's what I'm saying. I'm not too 27 sure. 27 additional charges. But there is others that's come forward to say that he's done something to them. So and there is more than one person that's now said that he's sexually assaulted them in some form of way. And, I know that for sure. And the Daily Snail um, had whose picture in the middle when... Uh, Stormzy, isn't it? Stormzy's bread. I mean, how do they do these kind of things? They just and do how it, do man. they get away with it? Why is Stormzy's Because no one face? knows who Solo 4-5 is. So, so they, they have what? to affiliate a fucking affiliate rapist with, yeah. with, with, with Stormzy. Stormzy. 
Because Stormzy's the number one black Fucking at the moment. Bastards. I hate these media people, man. They do get by association really well. But okay. yeah, it's, we d- it's three extra victims that have uh, accounted for these 29 counts. Yeah, so what the okay. question was somebody was to ask us about what we wanted to talk about was sexual assault in the music industry in the UK. Because it wasn't just, uh, they said they mentioned Solo 45, they mentioned DVS. Do you remember that DVS guy? Mm. No, tell me, because I didn't know who this right. DVS was. DVS guy is one, I think he's an MC basically, yeah, that mm. used to be on the, on the, 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 the clubbing scene or whatever, yeah? All right. And basically, what happened with him is that he Ooh, attracted he's ringing a bell. Yeah, he yeah, trapped yeah. some girl and was doing manners to he was burning her with cigarettes he recorded it or something yeah he? he was burning her with cigarettes he was chopping her with knives or whatever he raped her several times he was telling her he was going to kill her he boiled hot water and threw it on her did all of this madness he's in jail now though yeah what, what, what kind of madness is this like kind of, apparently he was known that he was a mad person he was known like on road that he's mad and he just did this to this girl and entrapped her for ages. So like, and you Wiley as well. The the, the uh, question has brought up. So let me oh, actually just read. Obviously, the question. Wiley's about the thing where people are saying he's a pedo. UK music industry and sex assault. Uh, music industry has stayed quiet, even though we've heard things about Wiley, DVS, and Solo Four Five. It seems to be all hush hush. Big guys. I don't know if it's hush hush when people are going on big Twitter and talking about it though. But like was said on uh, on, on the low podcast a few weeks ago, it's like. Um, Yvette brought it up that when these things happen, because we're talking about having wife and mm. that's not really our, our, you know, our core community. That's overseas. It's mm. Hollywood. Like these are people that are in our pairs. Mm. They are our pairs. We know somebody that knows these people, kind of thing. I don't and why, why don't we talk about? Why don't we? Well, we're not talking about it as no, much. No, sorry. Let me take that right back. I do think it's hush hush. I think talking about it on Twitter is not enough. I, I think what they mean by is what by it. it Get my flipping take right your time, now. take your time. What take they time. mean by it being hush hush, I think that they know that people know about these things and they're not reporting them and they're not saying something because of the status of these eyes. I, 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 you know, I'm getting away from the status thing. Clearly, there's a culture where men do things, women feel afraid to come out and say it for whatever reason, for they're not going to be believed or they're, 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 they're going to be judged. Um, and men are just not backing it when they do know. So it's right. like, that's my boy. I ain't saying nothing, you know, or whatever. You know, he doesn't do it again. So clearly, this is a culture. I don't think it's got anything, because we spoke about his power last week. I don't think it's got anything to do with power. I don't think it's got anything to do with stature. I don't even think it's got anything to do with position anymore. Clearly, it's got to do, it's just a man thing. Men don't speak up for women, and women are too scared to speak up for themselves. Because you Lupita have, mentioned it as well. She said, why, why didn't I talk about it? Because I didn't think people were going to believe me. Let me ask you a question about this, yeah? If a man that you know is violent enough to throw out water a person, burn them with cigarettes, threaten to kill them, blah, 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 and you're one of his brethren, would you, would you go out of your way to try and, 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 and talk to this man? And that's the problem. Because the man, they're scared of the man as well. They, which is wrong because they, they, you, you also, if they're women, as, as I said to before, yeah, and I said this with David James bit, and I'm saying this, if the sisters can't rely on, them, on the man them to back them, who are they relying on? But if the man is so pussy that they can't go against the man, what what do you do? Because in their head you're thinking, boy, if I get involved now, what's what's it gonna happen to me? This this is this is the question. If you knew somebody in your circle, in, in your circle, circle that anyway, did something circle. like that, what are you going to do? That person can't be in my circle. Well, I'll forget that then. What's, what does that mean? I ain't no, talking to you no more. No, so okay, so no, then no, what? no, no, no. For me, it's like this. Yeah, it's like this. I would talk to the victim. If I know the victim, I'm talking to the victim. You don't know the victim. Boy, then I don't, I don't, I don't know what I will do. You've heard, you've heard. Swift says, "I heard something about Steph." Yeah, but and, um, that's that's mad. I'll kick off with you. I'll, no, I'll, I'll fight. For, you. All right, forget you then, because you're my brother. But I'm one of these two guys. I've heard about Steph. Uh, one of my bedrooms that's outside of this. Like we, nobody, none of you know, uh, has told me a friend of a friend. Yada yada yada. Steph was kind of like they were in a club, and he kind of like he took it too far. He took it too far to the point that the girl was crying. You know, he, he grips her, he rubbed her up a bit, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, once she made a, a loud enough noise in his car or something, he let her go. He drove off. He went, he went about his See, business. I would confront me. I would confront One time. somebody like that. I, w- yeah? I, would, I would move to you. Yeah. Straight I'll, up. Yeah, I think no that, long thing, mate. I'll I, confront I, I, I don't think... I don't think that's the case, you know. Well, I've confronted you. I've confronted you with other things just like this. I, you're my brother, so I said, forget it. Don't talk about it. I'm talking about these other two. You right. still want to talk? Yeah, I think I don't care who it is. I think I'll confront him. If it was simple, I'll confront him. If it was Mr. Wolf, I'll confront him. Mm. There is no way that anybody. You're not moving with me anymore, so we're gonna have to get into a beef. Yeah, it's time. as simple as that. 
It is a simple thing. If you've done it, I'll ask you. This is the thing. This is where the respect comes in. I will ask you. Did you do this thing? I was I was drunk, fam, man. And, uh, no, then you're kicking we, off. We were in the car. Because no, you can't come she, there any woman that I know anymore. We were kissing in it. And then I, well, I put my hand up. Uh, and then she started saying, stop. And she's like, but why are you in my car, man? And we're both drunk. And, you know, we'll no, kiss I'm it. moving to you. And so I put, you know, I put a couple of fingers inside her. And she's, yeah. And then when she started screaming, I told her, all right, get out there. And then it got. Yeah, and but then, what, like, yeah, but what you got to understand is that we've got certain morals. What would you do? That's the story. That's the story. What would you do? I know what what we what I'm saying is that we me we all have certain morals in it. We know that we can't be around someone who has that kind of mentality. So we are now under the assumption that we didn't know that our boy was about that. So this is our boy, and our boy's just done this. So that now paints a different picture. I was drunk. It makes fam. me I realize I wouldn't do it the drink don't mean nothing to me. I wouldn't me. do it if I was sober. Drink don't mean nothing to me. So what are you gonna do then? What are you gonna do about it? Boy. Wolf man, we're be- bedrooms, man. Nah. Known each other half my life. I could never move with you ever again. We will have a conversation and I will ask you, did you do this? And you're uh, basically you admitting. You can't tell me you ain't done nothing, man. You can't tell me you ain't done nothing. No, I ain't done nothing like that, man. You, t- you closed last week that we would done something. <laughs> yes, we have. Yes. Not not to not to not the level to I, not to the level I just mentioned there, but yeah. I will move to you. And I'll speak to the boys and we will all speak to you together. You get me? And see what we're gonna do about it because I cannot be around a man like that because like what Wahala said you cannot be around any female in my family at Simple. all done don't come mother, near me mother sister daughter not involved for me this is a bit strange right so you got the you said there's additional 29 or 27 sorry additional 27 from three women cases from a, yeah from, from another three women mm. So this is something that's going on over an extended period of time then well I think the other girl the original one was entrapment he had there in the house. And was we, doing we, don't, we don't know the ins and outs yet, so it was not. Going well, no, but one of the things was entrapment, wasn't it? Yeah, the first thing. But he's talking about now an extra three people. I think an extra three people have come forward to say that they've he's been sexually. Which, which sexually is why they thought, yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're part of the twenty-seven that's in there. That twenty-seven could still be from the one victim. And does it mean that he's guilty? I don't know if he's guilty because well, we, that's the thing. But it? if man's is coming before girls to tell you that he's done something, I, listen, everybody is guilty guilty to prove an innocent thing is cool, but don't come mm-hmm. name my woman. Yeah, for real. Don't come name my woman. That's and then they're, 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 they're not looking to get paid. It's not American culture yeah. here where it's like, oh, we're going to get, we're going like, to sue him. Yeah. They're not getting no money from him. You ain't got no money. You ain't got nothing. But then coming the, out. the other side of this now is how does um, BBK, how has they said anything? Like, I don't know. I don't know if, the, if any of them what, have come what, out. Maybe this is the point. Because we would have heard something if, if one of them had come up to the plate and said, you know, we're discussing with what our brother did. We've di- we're distancing ourselves from him. He's no longer part of BBK. They must know. They, of course, they know about the thing, but nobody's saying nothing. This is this is the, this is the question. Nobody's this the, saying nothing. This is the problem. Nobody in the industry is saying nothing. The, everybody's saying that they knew about this Wiley thing. It wasn't until man threatened to kill you and you got into personal beef with him that everybody's talking. But if you knew about it and man's been doing this for 15 years, why is it... Why, why has nobody said anything? Why has nobody done anything? The why, are you still making, why are you still making music with him? The Wiley thing, uh, again, I just think that is definitely culture, right? Or not culture, but just the way that things run in them times. Because, as we know, when we was at school, girls was getting into big man's cars and going with them. That was standard. That was blatantly standard. Mm-hmm. 19, 20 was coming for 16, for f- even 15, 14. 15, yeah. That was standard. standard. So... At that time, those people might not even have thought it was a bad thing. It's only now that they've grown older, they thought, rah, this man's dealing with a, like, like a 14-year-old and he's 20. Like, rah. All right, okay, okay. And now they come to say that's deep. But at the time, they're probably thinking, well, she's just any girl that comes to the club. I always hated them, man, when we were at school and college. And mm. I always hated them. Like, what, you think you can just come around there with your car and take all the But that's spice? what they did. I know. <laughs> that's what they did. And a couple of girls I know whose brothers, you know, did some things with girls and they, they went jealous for it. Mm. Deep, 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 deep. It's not. It's not easy. Like, cause you take your girls to go meet your, your your family or whatever. You take them to your house to do whatever girls do when they get to the house. The brother's there. They start so fighting the brother, and then that's it. So, so, what what is the solution here? I mean, there is clearly a problem. Men what, need what to have the discussion done? with men. Yeah, men need to sit down yes. and have the discussion with men, and fathers need to teach their do. I mean, their sons that you do not just do what you want. I don't think it's a father son thing, you know. What Why? father? What father lacking bolds his son to like tell him that you you should touch a woman? Not I don't, I, I, many 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 fathers will tell you, God, God, get that woman there. Yeah, if, 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 even even the promiscuousness of that people portray to their sons to say, go and get as many women as you can. Yeah, I, it shows no, you, there is bare. Ma- you t- you tell me fathers don't do that. Yeah, but I don't, what's that got to do with uh, molesting somebody? Let me finish don't talking. Put the two together. But let man. me finish talking. All right, go on. Go on. The reason why I say these things, yeah, is because it does give an indication. No, it doesn't. 
Keep forget talking. It, forget it, forget it. Thank I'm you. All right, good. Because it. it's a nonsense. Yo, whatever you track, I have to hear your rubbish for, from prepared to end of time. I was going to listen to you. You're the one that stopped. No, but why are you stopping me when I'm talking? No, I said something on top of you, like you always say on top of... Can we agree? Yeah? <laughs> All the time? You don't want to talk. You, 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 you like to just dismiss things, and that's the problem. That's yeah, why uh, people yes. don't want to... That's why people want to mute you, because you just dismiss when they're talking to you. What's the point of them talking you if you don't You can continue talking if you want. If you're the one that said you want to stop, so carry talk on, if you want carry to carry on. on. Carry on, carry on. Anyway, so if you're now telling people that you should do this, you should do that, and you're making people feel like they're indispensable, because that's what it makes it feel like. If you have as many as you can, or take as many as you want, that is making them feel like they're indispensable. No, they're that, disposable. Disposable. Sorry, yeah? yeah. That could lead you to think that there, there, there is no, there's no significance to them, and you can do what you want. Right. Okay. Uh, if you think that's not the truth, then fine. But that's uh, it. Does work that way. If 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 okay. If it all right, fine. You could say that if. You are encouraging or suggesting that your son should go out there and play the field, and you're saying that because that will go hand in hand with looking at women as just objects, potentially, yeah? Yeah. And when you look at a woman as just an object, that means you can abuse her. Yes. Yeah, I, I would just say that I don't think men look at other men as more than just objects either. It doesn't mean you can just abuse her. No, men have a respect for men because they believe that they, 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 they could potentially be hurt. I'm but not sure that I'll co sign that. Which one? Um, the idea of uh, a father encouraging his son to kind of soil his royal oats and, and because he's doing that, that he kind of uh, demeans women and looks down on them and, and, and has the potential to molest them and to do all kinds of things. I think that it is a part of you. I think that there are some sexual fiends out there who may not have had so loads of women. The, these guys may not have had multiple women and maybe because they haven't had multiple women they're using this time maybe who to to get one woman and then to do a madness with them i don't think it's got anything to do with fathers telling their sons to go out there and and to enjoy themselves mm, it, it depends i would say I that say the, and the, let me say enjoy themselves in that simple nice term yeah. either. i didn't give you a term but anyway karen uh, it dep- i think sometimes that thing that um, Hala mentioned about the fathers and the sons can be a precursor to certain ideas i think it's it's put it this way then it's a connection that can be made right? Yeah. but it's a loose connection and if you can make that connection you can make so many other connections mm. and it's, it just comes down to then you can ad- attribute it to everything yeah but yeah? If, if you start from that that bond there where you make a, the the son understand that a woman has feelings has blah 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 they're not just objects to for you to have your playtime with yeah then if you start giving them full, making them feel like the woman should be respected from that time where you're telling them that they should be going to go and do what they're doing maybe, possibly, they will have more respect for women and they won't not feel that they can just go and do what they please. Okay. Because what you said earlier, yeah? Earlier, where you said that the person was in the car and he was feeling up the girl and putting his hand in her vagina and mm-hmm. then when she said, no, 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 he tried to get out of the car, yeah? yeah? There's probably bare man that's done that. Yes. And they will just tell you, well, she said, any yeah, I could do that. Of course I can do that. Why is she in my car in the first place? Because he doesn't respect the woman. It's not because he thinks he's a rapist. It's not because he thinks that he's sexually even assaulting her. He thinks that that woman is a yeah. I can do what I want with I, it. I, I, I agree with all that. Sorry, but I don't quite see the connection of fathers. Because I know enough. My dad never done it to me. But I know enough men who had that connection with their uh, dad. Um, and their dad kind of alluded to the fact that you're of age now. Go out there and, and you know, and do what you want. Just yeah. make sure you strap up and do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, but the problem, the problem, yeah, the problem is what you've just described there. Because you're right, the dads will say go out and strap up and do whatever, whatever, whatever. But in that same conversation, there is at no point the the part about the amount of respect that needs to be given, the amount of respect that needs to be displayed. I don't know the, about the, the idea that the idea that even if you are just having sex with a person then it doesn't mean that you can now degrade them or they, they've now become I hear disposable you, but, but we don't have that conversation at all i hear you but the point i'm making is that i know plenty of guys especially when i was in college who were you know you know having sex with multiple girls or what have you and there was no idea of them you know molesting sexual assaults and all these kind, Again, kind, kind of thing disrespecting a woman and being loose with women does not have to go hand in hand. So, you, yeah, can we agree on that? It doesn't have to go hand we in know, hand. We know players that don't disrespect the women in, in that respect, yeah? It's just they're players. They're here for one thing and they get their one thing. The women know about it. Yeah, this is the important thing. You're not lying about it. The women know about it and they're willing to play along. So, the man's a man whore, the women are women whores and they're whoring together in whorish heaven. And that's just the way it is. Th- that can happen and then there is a flip side where you, if you see a woman as just an object, 
then maybe it gets to the point where it's like, well, because you're just an object, then I don't need to respect any part of you at all. I don't need to respect your feelings if you don't, if you, if you, if so I can lie to you. I don't need to respect your feelings if you don't, if you tell me no, because you're just an object. But I do think there is a splinter, there is a split where there is a different way of dealing with women. And if I ever was a player, I never was, but I was never to a level where it's like, um, you, you get me. So okay, it do still do just comes down to personality. Okay, so again, now let's go back. And, to the, and, and, go, and I am the type of person to say a man can just go. Let's out go there back to the original topic, then. Yeah. Yeah. You're a product of your environment, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You have seen your father and your mother, and you've seen respect. Yeah. All right. You've seen uh, other people, maybe your brother and your sister, um, brother-in-law. Yeah, sister, yeah. Okay. okay and okay, you've okay, seen respect. Okay, so you're okay. a product of your environment. Yeah? Yes. 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 And you, to be honest, that didn't really tell us to go and saw our No, you didn't say that. So. We're not really people to use as an example. But there are others that we've seen that when people just tell you no, not even not even got to the point where you're even thinking this when I chat to you no. Well then they'll swear at you, they'll dash water at you, they'll do this stuff. This, yeah, but they, we don't we, we they, don't call sign that nonsense. Maybe so. it's not sexual assault, but it's still a, an attack. And I'm trying to tell you these things lead on to when people feel like I'm trying to explain to you, this is what I'm I am i am saying. Some people feel like they are entitled to do what they want when it involves women. Men are feel like at times feel like they're entitled to cuss you. I'm not they're entitled to, no, let me finish. They're entitled to do whatever they feel to you. They're entitled to touch you. They're entitled to do all of these things, yeah? yeah? And I'm saying that could potentially lead on from people at the beginning telling you, do what you want with girls. Don't worry about them. Go on blaze, innit? Go and do what you're yeah, doing. Don't it, worry about them. Just get, have one. Go to the next one. Blah, blah, blah. And that makes that person seem like an object. There is nothing, no feeling towards them. It could. It's not by definition that's the thing. But I'm not saying... I didn't say it has so, to be that. I'm so but I'm giving you an example. And I was giving you an example, the way you were shutting it down, no, of course not. Blah, 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 blah. Now you're telling no. me how it could potentially be true. Yes? I said that one could lead to the other. But then I said the, the, the link is loose. And if you want to make that, uh, that connection, which you can make, then there are a million connections you can make. And I just don't want to throw in that... that okay, let's say for me personally, I just don't want to make the connection that just because a father says it to his son, you can have fun until you get married, yeah? So have as much sex as you want, as long as you don't abuse this woman. And I, I would like to believe that that can be part of a, uh, the conversation. If a man is, is that way, is going to have that kind of conversation with his son, then I would hope that you would throw that bit at the end. Be safe and don't disrespect these women. No, the disrespect bit doesn't necessarily come but in what, there. What? It might go as far as be safe. Okay. Somebody might not even tell you that. Somebody might even tell you, go breed up all the women. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's no. true. I'm, true. I've, I've heard, Personally, I've, just so very recently, so so just so very so recently, I've I'm heard a that. balanced guy, and I'm the kind of person that would say that there are some dads that will say that. The okay, ball- okay, okay then you know understand. what? You know what? Then the balance. Let, let, let's yeah. say there's a there's a there's a, a range of ways that a father might tell his son this kind of thing, and there is a f- section of that, whether it's a third or half or three quarters, where they would say it in a manner which would maybe lead them down the route where they start to treat mistreat women. Let's mm. just stick to group, just mistreat them. And then once they're on that road or that path of mistreating women, then maybe they go down further into the woods and they get into the kind of situation that some of these people are in, Wiley, DVS, Solo 45 and Harvey, because they've gone, they've started down a path led to them by their father and now they've gone down to this wood. I just think that's the minority. I think that people that do this kind of thing have a predisposition to and I wonder it. if their fathers it's, are there I, so, I, so, I, I so what I, I do think it's part of the culture uh, the I, reason just, I just don't think it's the, the culture reason of why we parents and sons. I think it's the culture of man's them, which the, is the, why the big question I asked was if one of us said they did it what would you do and basically everybody was like well I wouldn't talk to you anymore and then it's like no, so I what said, no no that's not what we said so you face they said they, they said <laughs> that's what I'm saying you just cut off what, a complete thing because of what we said because I kept saying you're my brother and so, so you, yeah but he what, also what, said what the same you, thing you fight me for nothing so he also matter. said the same thing though he, he said, said he stopped talking to me no he said he will move to you that is the first you. thing he said that he said he will move to you and then he and then he, as far as I can say he pushed back and he said we'll talk to you I'll talk to you no he said everybody will talk to you then he said I'll find out exactly what has happened because you have to still ask you the question but then he said that after that he, 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 me and you are going to have an argument or whatever we are going to think and then I'm, don't come and talk to me again I would I would hope that's the case so I, what would you what would you do because you haven't explained it you, you, you I, don't, I don't know what I would do if I'm going to be real about it I'm not going to say I'm just going to go and, and punch a man I've known for 20 years because he's made a mistake 
And it's a, I've seen you do almost do that too. God damn, <laughs> nigga. Oh, oh, God damn. Oh, you okay, know what? Yeah. All right, then, <laughs> and that wasn't even. That wasn't even. A, a, it was. It was to, see, to me. That was. That life, was. Life is a beautiful okay, thing. Okay then. All right then. Okay then. <laughs> so, you're the show. You're like. All right then. So, Sometimes you don't have to argue with them. All right then. Life all right then. The okay then. Oh shit. The hell was that? <laughs> that was the chair that yeah, I was sitting in. Well, okay. That's like, cut your ass. These guys are talking about a situation where Stavros, Stav- one of Stavros' peoples, did something that disrespected what their women. And when I found out about it, <laughs> you actually attacked man? Yeah, I, I, not when I attacked the man. I, I, had to I, I, him. I actually cut him. Yeah, I had to be pulled back. So maybe I'm. Maybe I'm Maybe I would do it then. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why we're, we're getting maybe, into... maybe I would do it. But all right. But all right. I've, I've, I've showed and proved, man. You may have to prove it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually... I, yeah. But I, 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 I saw red, man. It's like... I saw red. I saw red. I yeah, went mad. And I think that us, man... And this is why I started off with the idea of us being morally correct. That we've got such high morals. Um, you know, despite what you hear on this podcast... Sometimes we like to catch a bit of joke. <laughs> you get me, but but if one of our boys was to do something as bad as that, then it is, it's a it's Done, a man. big problem. It's, it's a really that big was problem. even that was even as bad as that. You it's understand? Done. So no, you know what? Yeah, that. because I've been this, I've been watching this, and it's like um, these people are saying, "Oh, yeah, I knew about it, or I've heard something." And even like knowing that this man is married, even if it was just like standard, just cheating, and it's like well, he didn't do nothing, or he didn't say nothing. And now I realized when I was in that situation. Yeah, I, I flipped out straight. Flipped like, out like, straight like but that person saying. has no that person has no power over you. And this is why I said the power bit comes into play. But you obviously don't think so. But I believe it is. But uh, the original thing we were discussing, and we shouldn't go past it before we got into the tangent, was yeah, what do we do? What are we supposed to do in this situation now that these men are behaving like? What shall we do as men? As in people that yeah. we know specifically. Or no, just, you just said in you, the question that remember when I said about the father things because you said what shall we do? Because you're saying it's inherent now. Men just do this thing. Yeah. What do we do? What do we do to stop this? It's a culture thing. Everything is culture. We have to change the culture. So what it has to be is that it cannot be acceptable to do them things and for your boy to ever find out about it. Because what it might come down to is that your boy might find out and then you laugh it off, you shrug it off. Or if you two is in this of, of cut of the same cloth, you even say, why didn't you call me to get my things as well? It's deep. And women, uh, no, we're not victim blaming, but women need to speak up as well. Deep. Because what's happening now with this Harvey thing is that if the women now feel strong to speak up. It's not just him now. There's other people coming out. So uh, I think that maybe even the women that have come out with this solo 4-5, they come out last week as you're hearing this, if you're hearing it as we're pointing out, they'll come out last week. Maybe that's because of this Harvey 4-5. Um, Harvey 4-5. D- sorry, um, uh, David Blaine, a woman has come out and said that he raped me. What? Seriously? Yes. David Blaine, the magician. A woman has come out uh, last week and said he raped me. Uh, there's somebody else as well, the the the, the uh, um, uh, Women's Olympics team. A woman has come out and said yeah. the doctor for the wom- uh, American Gym, women. The gymnastics thing. Yeah, yeah. The, sorry, the, uh, yeah, the gymnastic uh, doctor for the US team. She said he's been molesting me since I was like fourteen you know, or fifteen or something. Oh, wow. Jesus. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know the deepest one that so I heard? If, if people, are, women are coming out now, and these men need to, be, and, and, the, and the law needs to do with them because what they're saying about Harvey is that potentially he may get done. And, you know, there's, the, and there's a hashtag, like, isn't there? Do you know the deepest one? That me I heard? too. Hashtag me too. The Go deepest on. one I heard was it wasn't even a famous person. It was one girl. I think it might have been in Birmingham. If it's not Birmingham, sorry, Birmingham. One girl got raped. She got away from the rapist or whatever tried to find somebody to flag her down so they could take her to the hospital or just help her out. Yeah. And then that person raped her again. Do you know what happened in Bethnal Green last, uh, two weeks ago? No. S- similar thing. Three different okay. men. Men. I thought it was the same, but it might be the same thing. Then. No, no, no. no, it's no, not, no. It's I, know, I know the one you're talking about. That, that was a while ago. I think it's, uh, it, was, uh, it was two Asian men, I think, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, I don't know, because it's it still on CCTV, so they're going to they're gonna catch these people. Please, please. A woman got raped in uh, Cambridge Heath near the station. And then once the first person was done with her, I don't know how, she walked down the road or whatever. This happened a second time. And then once that one was done, a third different person. They might all I don't be linked. Think yeah, they might all be linked, man. And I'm then somebody telling them... Link, the story, somebody, the story somebody, th- people, this is the problem. We, and the fact that I'm even saying this means, you know, it's, it's bad. Man, they will call next man them to say, yeah, there's a live one out here. Come, come get her. And you know that's the truth. Them man shouldn't go to prison. They, they shouldn't. These people need what, to be castrated. No, what should happen is, I think them man should be put at the mercy of her. 
whatever she decides that she wants to do to them, she should be allowed to do to them. That's just the ultimate fuckery, bro. Mm-hmm. I'd, I, for me, it's even just, thinking about it, it's just, it's, just uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's something ev- we need to deal week, with, man. Every week, man, every week, it's racism and uh, abuse to women. That's what we're dealing with every week. That's what it's, and it's not like that's what we're stuck on. Like Trump is jokes, man. We could talk about Trump, but this stuff is even overlapping. It. It's like it's depressing. It's I don't depressing. Even think that Trump's a joke, personally. Yeah, it's but because World War Three might might come. Exactly, man. Trump is but a clown. Hey, if the thing, how about off? the actors' thing, man? If the thing pop off now, what happens? <laughs> All right, then, let's 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 let's. Yeah, end. Be a fun, man. Let's, right. let's end on a on a lighter note. Um, okay, we got some more questions, but we'll do them next week, then, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we do have questions, but I, uh, we're probably gonna do a, a longer answer for that, and we're we're already running over. So, um, are we? Yes, way over. Not way over. <laughs> no way over. Took this way. I'm looking at my own time. No, no it's no way over. So, we'll um, when we finish. Dun, dun, dun. All right, Tupac, Fifty Cent, Ice Cube, Queen Latifah, Ti, Ludacris. Which one is the best rapper turned actor? That is Mr. Wolf's one. Don't give me no <laughs> screw, screw face. Ice Cube. And and first of all, let's take out T.I. Why? Let's just make it easy and just leave him in. No, and if nobody because wants I want to replace him with um with uh, LL Cool J. Okay, then okay. let's let's add LL Cool J. One let's give one. Now it's fine. <laughs> all right, so um, Ice Cube. <laughs> Simple Simon, Ice Cube. You might not want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to, you know. Like, that's the answer, though. Ice Cube. That's, that's the answer. Ice Cube. Don't, it, this doesn't have to be long, innit? It's Tupac or Ice Cube, innit? And Tupac didn't do enough films. About, yeah, uh, so uh, I'm going to stick with Ice Cube. How about Queen Latifah? No, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, just move the fuck off. <laughs> what's yeah. your answer? What's your answer? I, I'm, I don't know, man. You thought it was a debate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I, was, I didn't I didn't want a simple, straightforward one. I think Queen Latifah has done a variety of different roles. She has. She a has variety been. of different roles, so and I would definitely put her up there. She's still not better and, than Ice Cube. And, and Ice Cube is kind of one-dimensional. He hasn't done any... I think he's done, what, Tri- Triple X? And he's apart from X, that, everything else is a so comedy. He's, he's no. Been a, no, he's no. been an action film. What about the one, Three Kings? Three Kings was a wicked film. Yeah, yeah, wicked film. He's done... Um, 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 Boys in the Hood, which is the best film he's done still. 21 Jump Why Street. hit me four? Why hit me four? One time. <laughs> no, no, Bobby, <laughs> John Singleton's what do you hit me for? Um, higher learning. Yeah, but you live. Okay. You live to fight another day. Ice Cube, that G, bro. Trust yeah. me, Ice Cube. And he writes some of the yeah, he wrote for, well, He co wrote Friday with, uh, what's his name? DJ, DJ Pooh. Mm-hmm. DJ Pooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, lo- lo- lottery ticket was just like him being in, in Friday. Daddy, are we there yet? Or is that, yeah. Uh, is that, I still that's, haven't seen that. That's the comedy ones. That the barbershop. Does. So he's done, his, he's done his comedy, he's done his action, action drama. and he's done his drama. Yeah, my Ice Cube. Why for? Ice Cube, man. Yeah, he's written. Ice Cube, he's but produced. Produced. Mom, and I'm oh. jacking for yeah. beats. And I know that uh, Queen Latifah is, is big in this game because uh, one, of, big, w- one of the best acting performances out of all of this will be her in, in uh, set, it off. set It Off. Yeah. Wicked in that film. She was yeah, bad. Yeah. Wicked in that film. Was she in like another yeah, one yeah. where yeah. she was in, not drag, um, uh, was she in? Uh, uh, she was in one of the performers, isn't it? She was in. Um, she was like dancing in. No, no, burlesque, no, la- la- lady like, like a burlesque, yeah, lady marmalade or something yeah. like that. Is, is that, that lady marmalade? Uh, is that the name? lady marmalade? Did she win an Oscar or something for that? I think she was nominated. Mm. I'm not sure. I if think she won the it. song "Lady Marmalade" won the f- Oscar for the. And she uh, was in Moulin Rouge. Is that what she's in? Are you sure? I don't even sure. I think she's in. I think she's in one of those. But I think she's in it. And Ice Cube's got more amps. Get in, bitch. All right, let's end it there. I've got so much. We had enough to talk about, actually. But um, and 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 um, who's seen uh, this whole added? What you added now? Yeah, I just what you know what I watched just the other day was um uh the, some, some the, uncle uh, stuff. No, it was the he, film. He's a proper uncle now, man. Yeah. the Leighton, Queen Latifah <laughs> with Jada Pinkett. Yeah, I just watched that last week myself. That was funny, boy. What? It is funny. Girl trip. Girl, Girl trip. trip. Girl trip is hilarious. I watched it with my mum. Yeah, oh, for real? And she, she like it, it? She found it hilarious. Yeah. You there said was, you felt awkward. I was like, there was times when, for, man? nah, man, when she was doing what she was doing with the um, banana and what's it called and the um, melon or whatever it was, yeah? I had to look up mum like, eh? Oh, and, the, and my mum was looking grapefruit, at the screen. The yeah, she was looking at the screen for a bit and then she just started busting up. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She's not saying we are bringing her to sexual. Nah, Who can remember the first time they watched something a bit, you know, sexual with their family or their mum? This girl. is a question. And I can't remember. I can't remember, but I can remember. Like, the, the awkward <laughs> feeling. I think it was them Dallas shows, man. It was yeah. something. something. You know the new Dallas got two blacks in it? What? What for? 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, four, you know. I, I like the slaves or something. I, 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 oh my god. No, Modern I said, day, you know. I, I saw the tweet and I was gonna write, well, "Why are blacks in Dallas? <laughs> Dallas, leave Dallas as they are. We don't need whites in Empire. You have your your blacks in Dallas. Is there Dallas. no whites in Empire? There is, man. You know, there's a token black in you Dallas. You keep your blacks over there. We keep our whites over here. Yeah. God. Can you? Just, you have that to, is you Wahala. Have to, you have to cut Big Wahala there, boy. Gonna kill somebody's ears. All right. So let's do our church notes and our goodbyes. If you did send a question in, uh, we will try and get to it next week. Oh, blood. Who are you going first? Wolf? Yeah, Mr. Wolf here. You can catch me on Instagram, on It's Yemi Online. Oh, no, Twitter. On It's Yemi Online, on Insta. Uh, Yemi's, Yemi's Insta. Insta. Can, and, and can I suggest? Th- th- there's, there's something on Twitter that someone's been going back and forth with me about. I don't know how to respond properly. <laughs> I, I don't have a clue what they're talking about. I don't have a clue what they're what talking you about. What do you mean? What is it? Um, someone said something. I don't know, mate. I don't know. I <laughs> do don't you know, know. If you don't want to talk about it, why did you bring it up, Uncle? No, because I need your help on how to kind of. He doesn't know how to I respond, can't. as he doesn't know how to do it. Do you know the? Oh, you just you just can't no, respond. No, because I see like my name being tagged in these things, and I'm thinking. <laughs> He's a know. proper. I uncle. thought, like, I need your advice. Like, I what? Told you, yeah, how can I respond he to takes this? Like, pictures with not iPads <laughs> and holds the phone away from his face when he uses it. I use both hands to use the telephone. That is Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Mr. Wolf ain't got an iPad. <laughs> oh, yeah, let us take snapshots. Let me, t- let me bring the iPad out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's hold on. better. Modern vampires have the seat. All right, big up. Uh, 52 weeks later. Can I big up? So I, uh, I'm trying to remember her handle. Rainbow. No, <laughs> that's not who I was doing at all. She, she and her? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me find them. Let me yeah, find them. Yeah, because I want to big up she. I think her Twitter uh, handle is she and her. And um, she's been supporting ESN for weeks now. So I'd just like to big you up and uh, say thank you. Uh, and there's somebody else as well that's on. Um, that's always on uh, SoundCloud. Tor. Tor. Is it Tori? Yeah. I think it's Tori. Yeah. Somebody checking it while we're, while we're waiting. But yeah, I would like to big you two both up, please, for uh, getting Instead involved. Instead of checking yourself before you did sing that. I was going to. That's why I took off my headphones to go and get the phone. But I can... Hold on. We can pause it then. Or we'll, just, we'll come back with it. I said you can pause it then. Do it again. We do, we do you say your things and it will come back in it. Um, yes. Uh, at Simple Simon FB on Twitter. Uh, I want to give out a shout out to Twitter handle Rainbow. Thank you very much. Because it's not Rainbow, you know. It's not Rainbow. It's more than Rainbow. I only yeah, remember the rainbow. rainbow. But there's just the rainbow is good enough. Uh, yeah, um, I want to say a big thank you to you. You are a new listener, official and confirmed. Thank you very much for getting in touch. Um, and I hope you continue and spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And large up uh, Ronke as well. Yes. He's so always li- listening. Large up yourself. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me do Stavros Says before Wahala gives that his shout out. So Stavros Says this week is a book by... Um, Oh, I forget the author now. The one I was talking about last week. What's his name? Mel Ribbons. Mel. The uh, the, the name of the f- Dan book Brown? is... Yeah, Dan Brown. Oh, Dan Brown. Origin. It's, uh, like I said last week, it's a film in a... Sorry, it's a book in a series. It's the fourth book now, the fifth book. And it follows the life of uh, Harvard professor Robert Langdon. And uh, he's some sort of genius, and he's got a memory where he remembers stuff. Oh, wait, of the book. But this is, anyways. Uh, this this the story is good. I've I've gone about a third of the way through it. Uh, I enjoy the whole series. You can pick up anyone and and read them because um, you don't have to read them in series. But it's from the Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci uh, Code series. Very good writer. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's a real page turner. And uh, yeah, so that is my establishment of the week. Wala, do you have what you need to have? Yes. Go ahead. Am I doing that again or is just talking as normal? Just carry on, man. All right, so I would like to pick up a couple people because they, they're consistent, yeah? Yeah. On SoundCloud, you can see some people are consistent. Yes. So one is eyelashes. Eyelashes. Consistent. Big yourself up. Also, would like to big up uh, Tory Talks. Tory Talks. And big. you t- actually talk. Tory actually yes, talks, talks as well. Yes. So big yourself up. Big yourself up. She's, and yep. she's from the state side, isn't it? I'm not 100% sure. I think, I've, well, yes. I'm assuming so. Um. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Yeah, but I'm bigging her up anyway. Yes. And uh, story and her, story and her as well. Story and her. We're bigging you up because you have been listening. You was a new listener way back, and you've continued to listen. And you, I've seen you share things as well, and that is appreciated. So I would like to say thank you and big you up. Yes, we 
appreciate you listening to the podcast, you beautiful women, you, because I believe you're all women. Oh, oh, keeping it grown? Keeping it grown. Yeah, large them up too. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. Keeping it grown. Big say, yourself up. Say it with your chest then. Yeah, because yeah. th- who are they? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If you know, you know them, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going through two and the scene, people are saying names. That's <laughs> what we're with. Anyway, let's just go on, man. Nah, nah. Well, let's big up, man. Big, big up the big up in it, because we're asking big, for. Big up for, everyone yes. that's, that's supporting us. And extra big up for all of those that rate and review us. Oh, yes. And extra biscuits. Well done. Oh, yeah, yeah. I listened to the extra biscuits. So, uh, well done to that. And, um, yeah. Cheryl Blue, big you up. Yeah, thanks for having us. We had a good time. Uh, when you're ready, we'll be back again to actually have the discussion that we're supposed to have. <laughs> and <not go> off <laughs> <tangent>. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to the. Uh, is it what would you do or what? what yeah. What, what would, would you rather? What would you rather? Um, so, anyways, yeah, let's stop gassing on. Stavros Boss, you can catch me at Stavros Boss everywhere. You can catch us collectively at ESN Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. Facebook, search for Eloquently Say Nothing. You can send your questions in via all of those methods or you can email us at esnpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, when you are writing about us, because I know you want to, you want to challenge what we're saying, you want to argue with Stavros, you want to say that not all Jamaicans in Ghana are from Ghana or Nigeria or I don't know whatever you want to say I'm going to cuss you either way but you can hashtag uh, ESN pod hashtag ESN pod and we will find you and we will join the conversation and Mr. Wolf will figure out a way to respond to your <laughs> message yes no, I don't know how to I will respond do. All right. Um, just, just there's a button that says reply, but I don't know what it means. Mr. Wolf is gonna is gonna can finish I, with can the I last say thing. Something? Yes, you're gonna say the last yeah, thing. Yeah. Um. This is just a tweet from Enio Luco. Yeah. And the tweet says, "Thank God it's Friday. A tough but memorable week ending with a lovely fitting message from the local Starbucks. And the message on her Starbucks says, truth doesn't panic. So take that into your week, people. Wonderful. Thank truth you for listening to eloquently panic. saying nothing." Hashtag ESM pod. Peace. Webs. Webs. Remember, if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. We got, we, we got webs. Forget you, bro. No, man's didn't forget webs. Yeah, we got webs. webs. Yeah. You got cussed a couple of times. Right? That's standard. Oh, you got cussed a couple of times.